Okay, cool. I can actually hear that pretty well. Yeah, that sounds pretty good, actually. I like that. Alright. I just crank this up a bit. Move these back into the picture. Where are you caught, my friends? Where are you caught? Uh, oh, crackle. Let me uh, route things correctly. There we go. That's a bit better there. Now I can actually see what I'm doing. So that should be all right for the commentary. About there. There we go. That should be good. Okay. All right. Yeah, the tournament's starting, everybody, by the way. <laughs> Just by the way, in case you didn't know. And how are we going here on the gain side of things? Just want to bump that up a little bit, and I think we should be all right. Um... So I just do want these microphones to be slightly panned as well. Okay. All right, everybody. Uh, I will be back on stream later, uh, but I'm going to try and get some friendlies in before we start the tournament. So stay tuned.
Goes the things. Uh, I think it's that one. Oh, hi. Where's eyes? Campbell gets first stop. Stand three isn't. Seems probably all over. Oh, yeah, you can't really be going to top platform like that. You don't really get that much invincibility. Pitch kind of gets near free. All right, big ball. Back here. Yeah. Okay, that was a really good up tilt. But then he gets down smashed. All of a sudden, it's even again. Yeah. Catherine kind of just drifted into that. She was always going to do it, and she let it happen, so. No oh, down tilt. Pretty sure you can just down tilt that as a box when they do it that poorly, but. Yeah. Big slap hold out. That's first stop. Uh, second stop. Catherine, small lead. Well, I think all she's going for is trying to get a knockdown on Fox. All she wants. Yeah, good way. Yeah, we'll not follow for that one. You've seen the C6 before. That's what's going on. Uh, yeah, that's always a rough one when you get knocked back to ledge like that against Peach Dash Attack, you get nothing for it. Usually when you power chill like that, you're just like, oh, it's a free grab. Now I'm at the ledge. Uh, yeah, good high side B. Campbell's playing a lot of this matchup back down to the I don't know how I feel about it. Probably real good, but I feel like you leave yourself open for getting. Oh, that's an unfortunate miss. I don't want to be dropping them. Now you got to deal with this. Yeah, there are shields. Coming. 
now. Let's see if Campbell cleans it up real quick. No, Peach comes out. She's busted. Nothing kills her. Except for all the foxes. Oh, uh, this is not good. Alright, yeah. Good way on the spot, Dodge. Kind of just covered all the defensive options of other than maybe roll away, but yeah. yeah. And again, out that percent. Definitely not gonna work. Reverse back air. Oh, he's still in it. Uh. How's the tournament going? Uh, this is the first match on stream. You Damn. almost made it, man. Damn. Uh, make up for Sunday, I think. Hell yeah. Yeah. Uh, we got Young Money, all the way from Vic. All the way from Vic to lose to Cat. I mean, sometimes she goes to Vic to beat up people, but yeah. Spreading it around. Trap from Vic. Uh, so if he loses here, really, it's a loss for all of Victoria. I mean, yeah, probably. Yeah. I mean, one. but if Catherine loses, it's the entire female gender losing one in the <sighs> stakes of melee once again. It's one more L. All right, going back to Battlefield. Interesting. I guess he doesn't like... He probably banned Stadium, and I guess he realized the down smashes are not something you want to be copping on small stages. He won the last game, he said. Hmm? He won the last game, he said. Yeah. Well, okay. like, he was in it for most of the game, and then Catherine just kind of didn't die one stock. It's kind of it. All it takes. But it was like this. It was like, you know, very close. One hits the other, and then the other one gets stoned. Good melee. That was a nice low stash. Yeah. That's a victory, man. They, they may not know the matchups, but they know how to get off the ledge. See? I beat him. He sent a stage, and then he was in trouble all over again. You landed. That was an interesting result. Uh, I kind of baited her into thinking that she that he couldn't go on stage and then went on stage. Fox with turn, not a great character. He's pretty good, he probably would have a feature turn. I mean, yeah, but he's no fox with invincibility. That character's busted. Pretty good. Well, like, she could turn it? That's he, a character. He baited out the role, but then didn't react. That's not a good sign. Yeah, that's... that's not really... Anymore. Oh, nice. SDI, nice. yeah. Pulling up there does it though. Back to even. Still makes the mark a little bit harder. The extra well, bit of stress in his hand might lead be to this. Oh, yeah, good trade, good up angle. Honestly, that could have been way worse than it was. Yeah. Great going to top that function, really. Do anything about it. Yeah, Peach can't really do anything about it. Loki a character. <laughs> and yeah, only won like a third of the majors in our history, but yeah, Loki. Yeah. Did you see that way. Sure I did. I thought that was gonna kill her. I was yeah. gonna be like fucking broken, but he's not, he's justifiably busted. Yeah, good angle. Uh, basic timing mix up with Catherine's calls for it. Not Ooh. take too many more hits. Yeah. Till we get. Good way. Except hit up here, yeah. yeah. That's, a, that's a good shit. No SDI out of that. Had to get some started there. But, you know. Some jabs. Kept them waiting in the center, but just give. Shine does beat everything in the Trash Cancel War. Yeah. Wow. Down Smash beats everything else. Yeah. Down Smash definitely is the best move in the game if you hit it. Oh, yeah. Catherine just kind of floating at a bad height. Oh, what was that? Is he expecting her to, like, try to go for the I don't know. 
Might have been like, went, hey, what's up? Back there. Uh, 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 nice, 150. Oh, I thought it was pal for a second there and just lets him back. Uh, kind of thought it would be letting Foxy back like that. Well, maybe she can. Find out right now. She can. Yeah. Right. Looking yeah. like, like the what I saw in the first game. Yeah. Uh, it's 0% lost off. Can he break the curse? I don't know if I'd call it a curse. One one game, uh, I don't know what to call it. It's a, that's a statistic here. Probably. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Looking mighty similar. Oh, the comeback. Could he get back on stage first. Fighting for his life. There we go, nice. Ledge dash? No, not. Tournament winner. Oh, he's back on stage now. He just needs to not get hit. Get back on stage. That's gonna do it, yeah. yeah. Right, good stuff, Catherine. I'm gonna go TO shit for a bit. <laughs> Victoria taking one big L. Who we got next? Someone else to join me in the uh, exciting match. Uh, was that Microsoft Dan Chat watching Campbell lose convincingly? I believe Catherine, it was. The unranked South Australian player. I think there's a metaphor there, Victoria SA. Well, I mean, Campbell is also unranked and big. And Catherine probably will be ranked in SA. Damn. But, you know, if, if the uh, Big Cheese crew battle tells us anything, it's that SA is better than Vic. Fair enough. Uh, do we have an idea who's what's happening? There's like the most pungent gamer smell in here that I've ever smelled. It's good to know. It smell, like it smells like it's not like the worst smell. It's just like the most consistent throughout the room. It smells like urine. Yeah. So if you're in the area, come on down. If uh, you're in the area, games. get it? If you're in the area. <laughs> what a god. Uh, He's gonna play some guy off stream. Peace, bitches. Damn. And with that, he's out. Uh. Looks like there's some serious TOing going on.
Alrighty, we got a match in about a minute for anyone who's listening. Got a young Luigi player, but I don't know what he's playing right now. He seems to flop around on stuff. Uh, got McLeod playing against Bailey. Fox Legend. About a minute. Well, there's there's McLeod stepping up, and there's Bailey. There they are. I don't think everyone realizes how happy I am to see you, Liam. Me? Dude, what's up? <laughs> what's good, dude? Not much. It's good to see you. Oh, he's playing... I just said he was a Fox legend, and he's playing Falcon. I lied to the screen. Who, uh, Bailey? Yeah. I mean, he kind of is, right? You know, but um, today, he's on the... Fa he's actually... Nah, he's definitely a Falco. Like, through and through, I think... Bailey's the type of dude to be Falco. You feel? Well, you feel that? I've only ever played him in one set, which was like all stages Fox Dittos. So Okay, well you know. It's my only experience. Okay. I need to probably need to like angle this down a bit because it's kinda hard to see sometimes. That's yep. a bit better. Alright, I need to adjust the cameras. Yeah, just a little bit. So this is warm ups at the moment, everyone. Also, uh let us know how the audio is on the stream, whether or not I need to turn the game or the uh, or the uh, microphones up or down. Has anyone ever told you you sound like a real professional? Th that I sound like a real professional. A real professional. I mean, like listen to the tone. And oh the right, right. Saying, well, like, I mean, if you commentate for long enough, you kind of like build up your own little habits and whatnot. So like, I mean, it's only kind of natural. I feel, and also. Uh, I guess I get a lot of my confidence from like working in pubs and stuff. Right. So like I've kind of developed that little way to speak to people, you know? Like yeah. where it's like you always leave them hanging a little bit so that they can kind of jump in with their own thoughts. Um, it's just a good way to talk, I guess. <laughs> like, right. And also I kind of did a bit of study on like effective communication just in general. Ready? Commitment to the stream. I mean, I just sure. it was just a subject at uni, but... <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, what's what's up, everybody? Um, we have a quite a tournament today, actually, because we, we got so we got Redwood, who is a Team Fortress 2 player that I played in a team with from Queensland, Damn. and he's here for a melee tournament. He's just in Adelaide for a while, so he's like, uh, he's like, oh yeah, I'll come to a melee tournament, guy. Okay. <laughs> Did you see that? He just Roy zoned. Falco grabbed just Roy zoned. MSJ, I know you were in chat. You know all about that. Oh, let's go. Let's go Bailey. Let's go Bailey. Bailey's my boy. So yet, yeah, so last week, instead of um, playing any uh, melee to speak of, we just set up our setups and uh, we played TF2 instead. Right. And you gonna I mean, uh, do any of those tournaments? Sorry? You gonna do a TF2 tournament? Maybe we'll do like a ulti duo one day. Right. That'd be really good. I, we, we just need to get together like 12 people, six, six per team. Like if. You would have to, yeah. You would have to get 12 people for a full team. That's why Alter Duo is good because you only need uh, two people per team. Right. Is that like a the arena match where you've got like one life? Uh, no. So Alter Duo is like a custom map uh, where it's one. Yeah. Yo. Uh, it's a custom map where one there's one soldier and one medic on each team, and there's one capture point, and it's just a king of the hill type thing. So right. it's just like. It's kind of like, for the soldiers, it's kind of like the basic element of uh, fighting in TF2, and you're like testing that aspect of the game. And it's also a really good challenge for the medics, because um, you got to be good with your yeah. heals and like moving yeah, and surfing and stuff. Target. But anyway, enough about another, uh, enough about uh, an actual dead here. game. Yeah, uh, um, enough about an actual dead game. Let's talk about one that people say is dead, but actually isn't, and that's the one in front of us. Bailey played right before our eyes. How can you say it's dead? In, in 2019 as well. Um, no, but 
On FOD, I'm kind of surprised that uh, Bailey's doing so well against Peach. I mean, he's a legend. He's a legend! Despite Johnny is a legend. <laughs> despite the uh, the jump cancel to land on the platform between stocks, it hasn't hasn't helped him much. Nah, nah. It's not been too bad so far. Um, I th also, personally, I actually kind of rate McCloud's Peach a bit. I think it's yeah. a bit scarier than his Luigi in some really? ways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because like one thing one that his one. the one thing that like Luigi <laughs> suffers with is like being able to. Uh, control edge guards and like cover options on the way back. Oh yeah, you what dumbass! You dumbass! <laughs> yeah, I'm just gonna float. You right weren't. In. You yeah. weren't. You actually died because you just floated into an invincible guy. Uh, how do you feel about this, McLeod? Yeah. Watching back at the vods. I've been told Please. the strategy is to, to avoid the attacks while they're invincible. Some say. Um, yeah, McLeod. When you go back and watch this, please at me on Twitter. That was a good power shield. Uh, man. Oh yeah. Uh, McLeod's not teching either. Oh yeah, Bailey's just like putting out his aerials just like just after Peach does, which is what you want to do. You you want to be putting your aerials out just after Peach does. Uh, oh yes, Bailey. Oh yeah. I'm, I'm a huge Bailey fan. I'm a huge. So coming in from above there, pressuring on the platform. Peach can't. Her best moves tend to be in front of her, or quite closer to her than yeah. straight up her. You kind of be real. You have to be real precise with the up air, and you're probably going to trade. Go on FD where it's harder for her to do that. And she gets the sick grab punish. Will it be enough to overcome the legend? I don't know. FD is kind of hard. If, you, if you're not used to it as Falco vs. Peach, it's kind of hard. Yeah. I know, I, def I definitely didn't really like beat Musket here when he was playing Peach for a while. Uh, and then one time I almost forced stuck him at a streaky gax. And then, and then that, that stage was kind of gone from that point on. So you had the hope for advantage of Streaky? Apparently I'm just a guy at Streaky. Yeah. But um, I don't, I, who knows. That was a long time ago now. That was like over three or four years ago now. I mean, it was at Streaky, so... So it's really, it's timeless. Bailey's oh, actually... Oh, sick jump read. Oh, he's everywhere. Peach wants to go. All right, that was actually sick by face. McLeod. Um, yeah, he did that sick jump read and then like... I don't know. Teching in place is really shit. <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm being honest, like, teching away is actually better. Even though, like, you're in more lag. Um, because, like, if the Falco just down has like that, he's just gonna stand there, right? So don't just give it to him for free. Tech in, like, at least tech in, because then you can live for longer as Peach. Mm. Like, I think McLeod hasn't really gotten to the point of, like, uh, being a floaty Peach main where he's, like, thinking about really how to live the best. Mm. So we'll see. <laughs> Also, everybody in the stream, please share out the stream to your friends. Come and watch some Adelaide Melee. He's we got the, uh, running an even against Bailey. Oh, it's a pretty close game, actually. He could have had this one. Like, I think Bailey could make it a 2-0, but like, this could just as easy go to the last game last stuff, you feel? Yeah. Just all depends on whether or not McLeod can take this cleanly and then hold on to the next stuff for a while. Depends if Bailey's feeling it, you know? Alright, I like... Uh, Bailey's pressure is really scaring McLeod. Oh, did you see that Phantom? Phantom, Phantom Pan. That's Metal Gear Solid. Metal Gear Solid 5, the, the Phantom Pan. Look, that's that's that where that uh, oh, that was the MGS. got it from? Yep, yep. He's a big me Melee fan this whole time. Oh, nice Bailey. DI. Nice DI. <laughs> this wasn't good enough. Oh. Okay, okay. Steven. Even Steven again. Yeah, I like this. Do you want to commentate, Nick? Yeah? Yeah. Oh, oh right. Technology. God. Right. Lord TF is actually... You know he's a pro gamer? Uh, Ex-pro gamer? Should I put Nick or SA Nick? Say Nick, please. Actually, do you know my real name? Uh, I believe it's Nick. My last name, then. Uh, you, I don't want to dox you, you on stream. On there? I don't want to dox you on stream. Man. <laughs> no, I'm doxing myself. All right. Yeah, I've, said, I've, I've, got a, I've got like a burner phone you can put that number on there. If people want to get in touch, that's fine, but they can't harass me once they throw the phone out. I don't think I have your phone number. So. Really? I don't think so. Maybe. I think I, no, I have um, Clyde's phone number. 
Yeah. But not yours. I don't think. Shut the fuck up, Dad. What? <laughs> he's so rude. Oh, sick air does. Now he's a fraud. <laughs> God, Davos is actually a fraud. He didn't show up today. Yeah, I'm like me. Yeah. You're actually the realest gamer out of you and Davos. Yeah. <laughs> might be true. That's definitely true, actually. I'm more of a gamer. Davos came to my house in, like, this fucking super expensive Mercedes. Jesus. That doesn't sound like a gamer to me. We're not a gamer. It was ridiculous. He's a fucking hood of Blair Athol. Oh, nice. Okay. Oh, terrible side dude. Hefty, despite, I don't think he did like really any chain grabs. Not very many at least. The, uh, I think the lack of platforms really helped him out there. Coach. Uh, whatever you say, Chief. Yeah. <laughs> is it 1-1? One, one? Yeah, it is 1-1. One, one. Bailey won so game 1 on won FOD, game. and he's going back to FOD. Did you put it as 1-1? Yeah, I was trying to, oh man, I misclicked. There we go. I have a stomach virus. Oh, he's going on going on They all fucking game. say that. Oh. Oh, Cloud Yoshi's. giving up on your girl, Peach. The Cloud is renowned as a gamer with no principles, so it's yeah. not that surprising to me. Ooh. That's a nice, nice uh, follow-up. Throwing him off in the last game. <laughs> Maybe he really hates the stage with Peach for some reason. It's like not great for platforms. Luigi either, though. Yeah. Is Bailey just good? When did that happen? Maybe. Maybe he's just playing Falco and winning the game. It's the old saying, uh, you shoot lasers, you win neutral for free. As some, someone always said. I've said that before. Yeah. So I've said Falco's the easiest character in the game. I don't think he is anymore, but when I said it, it was true. Nice evasion. Can he get around? He's gonna go down a stock, but now he's up. Do you know how easy Falco was in like 2015? So easy. Oh, I mean, I can imagine. I remember when I first started playing Falco uh, back aerial. No lag when it lands, up tilt, the follow up. This laser. This it's laser. Too much. Down air. I, don't, I mean, for me, that wasn't even like, that was like too advanced. <laughs> we had a sword, so you could just. Oh, I was oh, you played Fox. Fox. Oh, yeah, no, it's impossible. Ooh. Nice. Pretty cheap how Luigi doesn't have to fall asleep and get punished next up. Yeah. Next up, like uh, Jigglypuff Rough. does. Maybe she should be nerfed. I wish Bailey hit those upbeats against Sub. That was a powerful shine. Stuff. Luigi was... Oof. Yeah. He really feels it. Luigi's the more emotional of the two Mario Bros. Yeah. Although, actually... Oh, oh no. Nice. Every time. He did the side B. If you side B there, uh, you keep your momentum. If you jump, you cancel some of the momentum. If you jump, you would have lived. So, what, what you're saying is, you're a better Luigi. In that situation, I would not have died. Yes. Yet. Yeah, that's, that's what it is. Taking the blow, Fakako. Oh, I should have died. Oh, I'm really lucky to get him to the shine now. Slipping around. He's too slick. Oh, I don't know why he was just getting hit by that. Uh, he just sort of took it. Could have yeah. definitely blocked that one. We've gotten out of there. Chase him down. That's, that's, it's good that you can F smash Luigi and kill a few. Oh, that's painful! Yeah, you hate, that. you hate to see that kind of thing happen. Yeah. That's yeah. the kind of guy who will wave dash back and uh, keep doing it. His speech just wave dash back a lot. He does other things too, but. Uh, Went in. So, like, when he's being lasered by Falco, he'd love the wave dash back. Speaking out every little bit of damage. This stock. Oh, oh that could be it. No. Bailey's being too, too cute, I reckon. But she, yeah, it's not his fault, is it? <laughs> she needs uh, <laughs> uh, to. Just, just way, I guess. If uh, air there, that would have been uh, probably a stock. Oh, I can't believe it. Kill. Oh, my God. Oh, terrible. He's dead. No. Is he? <laughs> Oh. There you go. There's the Bailey gets so lucky. Oh no! He's done! That's rough. Yeah, he dude. didn't play as well as the Cloud did. True. That's the way the cookie crumbles.
There's one thing you can say about McCloud. It's that he's not. He doesn't play too cute. No, he didn't. Didn't give a damn about character loyalty. Yeah. Although he did do a nice up B as uh, true. Microsoft J so sensibly pointed out in the chat. Yes, it was a uh, a nice nice one. It was a nice Smart. one. Smart. I should probably warm up. I've been playing. I haven't played since I played with uh, Milo at my house. Actually, I played Devin at my house. Rough. Devin, when did you come to my house? Because that was the last time I played. And uh, your car is really nice. Your parents' car. You you come from a wealthy family. Damn. <laughs> it's insanely nice. I can't believe they let you drive that car into my suburb. I can't believe your parents let you drive it, and I can't believe the various gang crime syndicates let you get away with it. Especially <laughs> since one of them's located in your house. Yeah, exactly. What was his name? Oh, no, he's gone. That's, oh, he's that's gone. my old house. No, no, the other guy. Oh, Lewin? Yeah, Lewin. Lewin's my current housemate. Yeah, that's the one. Well, he's not a gangster. He's just a regular Joe. With a name like Lewin. Like, no... Just are, no, you thinking no of or are you thinking of Junior? Jewin? No, <laughs> no. No ordinary person's called Lewin. I didn't say he was ordinary. I just said he wasn't a gangster. All right. Catherine playing Peach. All right, well, I've I've played within the last 11 days, or 10 days, so that's, I got no jumps. Uh, the last time I played, I think, was, like, yesterday against the CPU for, like, an hour, and that was the How'd first time I played in, like, a long time. Did you fucked up? Yeah, I did. All the, the muscle memory all still works. For the part. God, I hope Catherine wins. Yeah. Imagine the fucking outcry. The, uh, the public... The Whatever. public art cry? Yeah, if Catherine beats Muscat. It'd be like a few people popping up. There'd off. be riots on the street if Catherine beats Muscat. The I, Muscat I could gang imagine, like, would get into big Molotov cocktail fights with the, the Catherine squad. I can imagine like two or three people popping up. Moderately. Uh, I forgot. After a match, just press like one of these. Right. Alright, and those are the two. Gotcha. Alright. Do you know what knowledge I found out today? Uh. Are we playing with Are we not playing on stream? We should play on stream. That's rough. The song no stream Steal matches. My Sunshine from Len. You know that song? It goes bum, ba ba bum, ba bum, ba ba bum. And then there's a drum bit that's like. Anyway, that song, the sample for that song is from, uh. You know the song. That Mo sings when he's like, Mo, 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 nobody likes me. You know that one? I can't say I'm familiar <laughs> with the Simpsons lore. Well, it's actually from the real song, not the, not the Mo one. Okay. I gotta play McCloud, he's gonna fuck yeah. me. Rough. I'm gonna get fucked. Rough. Okay. Musket, no surprises, taking an early lead. He's, Jesus, he's racking up the damage. Yeah, difficult comeback. He's very familiar with the Pe with the Peach as a character. He's obviously very familiar with Catherine as a player as well. They uh, are in fact siblings. There it is. Uh, where is your controller? I don't know. Did you leave it where you lost and played with it? I don't know. I don't know where it is. Oh. Hey, oh, I was gonna tell him. Damn it. Hey, McCloud. McCloud. Demix is rooting for you against Nick. You better, I don't know, win. Whatever. There you go. Look at those two gents. Okay. And Catherine, yet to take a stock. That's disheartening. Oh, yeah, Demix hopes you lose it. Just say, just for a word of encouragement. I don't know where it is. Nick may get DQ'd without a controller to play. It's rough. Oh my god, a full stock in the making. She finally manages the stock. I don't think she's got it in her to make this comeback. It would have to be some extraordinary luck. Yeah. Well, she gets back to the ledge. But even the musket's flopping a little bit, she's not able to really make headway. Yeah. Nice reactions. Looking pretty clinical. Okay. What 
is she going to do? Big blue? It's probably pretty good for Peach. Let's go to high ceiling. She can float above the hazards. Peach City, also a good, good Peach kind of pick. I didn't know where it was. No, it isn't. Alright, well, this is a much this is a better start. He's going off stage. Makes it back in, but. Ooh, big chance. Oh, that's pretty good. If she. I really wish. Yeah. Uh, I really wish she would do the. Uh, implement the double jump cancel to the grab. Quite surprisingly quick. Fox is not going to expect it. He gets the grab when they're shooting the up on the situation. And it looks safe. But, he's got a good chance here. Oh, nice jab, stopping him. Weak hit. But, she's still got him. Still got him off stage. Uh, ledge dash, too good. Yeah. Rough position there, even though she's out of hit stun. She could have air dodged, I suppose. It was looking, oh, it's looking a little bit better, this game. Yeah, it slips past him. Oh, big damage. Uh, nice short. Good trade for Catherine. Got him off stage again. Oh, meaty slap. Damn, it's looking way more competitive. Let's go. Oh, another, another hit. Doesn't lead to much though. There's only one hit. Great. That was a weird, weird hit, but it works out for Catherine, I guess. Full hop going over. Stuff. Clean it up. All right. So he's just gonna. Damn. She's really uh, putting the pressure on him. Punish? Uh, anyway, she's unable to cover it. But. Yeah, it's a little bit too fast, but good punish on the up smash. Oh, another one. I don't know if she should really be going for too many of these. It's a bit lazy. He's not going to kill her off of it. Uh, she maybe could have acted a bit differently after that back here. Instead of shielding. Oh, he's gonna wait for it. We kick. Ah, nice rush. Well, I think the second game was looking pretty good for guys. Unfortunately, a little, I think a few, a few uh, better decisions. Maybe a bit better on the edge guards, and she could have had that game, I reckon. All right. Oh, what's this? Hello. Hello. What's up? Not much. Yeah, he's it's a. Good. Yeah, Kai is gonna play Jack, and then I'm up after that. So. Oh, that's cool. Gonna... Are you playing the winner or? Wait, yeah. no. That's uh, I play Muscat again. Ah, uh, rough. Yeah. How many <laughs> times have you played him now? A lot. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. Well, I think Jack. Three eyed Kai last time. Damn. Yeah. Well, I believe Kai said earlier he has not been playing melee, he's been playing Team Fortress 2. Oh, so he's getting back into it. I think he got bodied by Bailey last week. I, I don't know, I just watched like 30 seconds of the stream right. and he was losing, so that's I what I'm basing it off of. saw his tweet, I think he said he got bodied on one map, then he won the other map. Something like that. Okay. So it's not all not all downhill for him. So he's, he's probably determined to grind it up a bit. Yeah. Uh, Davox. Is he an SA? Davox. I don't know if he's an SA. He's, he's being here a, in the chat. He's being a fucking chump if he is. <laughs> Damn. Is there a button to switch these? No, there's a button to clear it. I was wondering, is there a button to switch switch these, like, because there's the commentators, and you can switch them, like, 
corner if you can like switch them because you can switch the players and there's a button for you to swap player into. Who knows? It doesn't really matter because they can't tell which side we're on either anyway. Yeah, I so. know. But maybe the people would want to know these things. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, well, we're sorry to everyone who's left wondering which is Liam to the right of yeah. me or to the left of me. We'll put, never know. Put your, put your guesses in chat. And <laughs> 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 maybe if you're right, we can give you something. I say, but really, it should be good for Sunday. Wow, okay. That's pretty good. But that's a pretty shit excuse. What? What do you mean? You want him to come here and be sick? You don't want him to rest up so he can be at his best when Dav I beat him? Davin, on Davin will never be sick. He'll never be sick. Wow. Be sick. Bold. He's never been sick, and he never will be sick. <laughs> yeah. He's past his prime. He never had a prime. <laughs> Beautiful warm-up. So you reckon uh, Jack's gonna run it back for another 3-0? Mm, well, it's the best of three, so... Well, maybe he'll have I another chance for another one later, later in the bracket. I think Jack just might do it again. No. Predicting 2-0? Are you predicting Kai will fail I'm to take even a stock? I'm not predicting any game count, I'm predicting Jack will. Uh, I predict... It'll be 2-1 uh, Kai. I think. Fair enough. Yeah. Game 1's going to be on Battlefield. Game 2 is going to be on... Is it? I think it might be on Dreamland. Yeah, maybe. People are banning Battlefield against Sheik these days, so... Cowards. What do you ban? Like, FOD and Battlefield? And then Sheik bans... Uh, FD and Yoshi. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Well, something around. <laughs> oh, he had the read. Yeah. I didn't have the space in there. That sucks. Get him in the corner there. Punish. I was about to say, can he hold the corner? Can he hold the corner? <laughs> yeah, and then the second later he's out. Okay, yeah. Alright, that was nice. He's... Oh, he was so ready and yet not at all. He's living. He went nowhere from that forward smash. <laughs> If I could forward smash, it's not really that strong. I think it's pretty strong. I mean, this is that was on Dreamland to the other side of Dreamland. And you could just you just needed to use one jump to get back. I don't know. I don't know. Well, against floaties, it's not that strong. Maybe maybe living to like you have to get them to at least 150 to kill them. Yeah, take laser forward to interrupted the grab. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, that's like great timing. Yeah, I know, it's like really a necessary thing to have to interrupt the approach after, after taking a laser. I kind of had dominance in this game. Yeah, no, he's playing well. Oh, platform making it hard for him, but he doesn't get it. Nice DI. Yeah. Yeah, there's a few at the moment. Oh, smart laser. Damn. Yeah. He would have done that? I wouldn't know. I'm not smart enough for that laser. Yeah, me neither. Dude, standing laser and side platform to catch the sheep on the side platform. That's a, that's a hard read if I ever saw one. <laughs> we now the pressure. What do you think's going on in Jack's mind right now? Thinking, oh, oh, shit. shit. <laughs> oh. He's thinking, oh, I just need uh He's like, oh, he's probably thinking, oh, shit. Yeah, probably. But before that, maybe he was thinking, oh, I just need to hit him a few times and throw him up. Just hit him up. And then he's Falco, I'll just gimp him, and then he'll be eaten. So 
much time to do that. Alright, I expect Cloud to clean this up pretty soon. Yeah. By the way, it's been going. It is three to almost dead. Smash that. That's uh, something Kai is very proud of. Yep, I could. Alright. Now um. Florets just needs to win one. And then Kai cleans it up. And I'm right every time. <laughs> Alright, but the, th the common thing we have here is we're both. We both want Florets to win the second one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we gotta save face. As everybody will know. There we are. Battlefield, like I said. Game 2 Battlefield. Yep, like Liam said. Yep. Right every time. <laughs> oh. Oh. oh! He's gonna give it away for free! That's a great trade. Mm, Jack's not getting his follow ups. There. He got the first. Oh, as I say that. Ooh. He get, doesn't get a follow up. He misses that one. Come on, Jack. Gotta do this. If, there, if you don't want to do it for, for yourself, do it for us. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he covers both! Oh! Dead. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that fucked up the mic. Probably. <laughs> that was cool, but actually it wasn't that good. The needles. Oh, I missed them. But like that was okay, but nice light shoot. Full cell of needles from like above. Covering, but like, I think Bucker still were covered first. Yeah. Same advantage. Not getting the ledge dash, but. Yeah. Just a shield drop. So yeah. Suspects. Who? Well, he just sort of dropped shield when he could have shield dropped and hit him. So By who? Just, uh, By Kai? Yeah. 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 I don't know, I, I, I always expect a little bit of rust from Jack. Yeah. I don't think he's... It's part of his I brand. I don't think he's that good at shoot dropping even on UCF, to be honest. Bruh. He uses his big brain to get him through. Yeah. Alright. Looking a lot better than game one. Oh yeah. Once Jack like gets a cheesy kill, that's when he that's when he levels up. Yeah. For the rest of the set, it's like an instant upgrade for the rest of the set. Yeah. Yeah, at that point, he's just outbrained you. <laughs> There's nothing you can do. Yeah. You just have to face the consequences of getting outbrained. Yeah. Try and hit more buttons. Take one of them hits. Ooh. Don't hit more buttons. Hit more brains. Hit more brains. <laughs> While you were out hitting the gym, I was hitting the brains, hitting the books. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Oh, that's You wouldn't expect Falco to oh. crash cancel that. But... Alright. Pretty close, pretty close. Ooh, big opening. Alright, gives up a lot of stage, actually. Yeah. I don't like that. But, I Still. mean, he's keeping he's keeping it in the corner. Yeah. He's just scared of those big brain comebacks. Yeah. Oh, oh it's starting. Oh, nice smash down again. That was good drift by Kai, though. Yeah. He's just scared of That shine miss, dude. Oh, not yet. Yeah. That was pretty close, though. Maybe he could have... Oh, the power shields are on deck. That's what you know. That's how it starts. The One hit. Oh, oh he's so the smart. Reed. <laughs> 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 uh, he's living. I'm so yeah. Oh, out space. Dude. All right, Kai just needs to not fuck this up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. He fucked it up. He did. He could. He could attack. Yeah. It's a shame. I All right, I'm playing. I really see. Um. 
Floy arms the Turk. All right. Kai, Kai 2-1. Uh, Kai 2-0, just as I predicted. There we are. All right. Now we got Musket versus Nangs, a.k.a. your boy. Will see how this goes. Historically, not good at all for Nags. They've played many times, and I don't think he's won once to memory. It's a rough character matchup. He plays Samus. Musket's a peach aficionado. It's not fun for him. But. Maybe there's a chance. Maybe there's a chance this time will be the time. You know? Oops. There we I think you need that much warm up in a set that's gonna last a while, no matter who, no matter even if, no how dominant it is, it's still gonna last a decent amount of time. All right. I would expect something like Battlefield to be the pick, but certainly not Dreamland. I don't think. Oh wow, I'm totally wrong. I know nothing about this. Corner dream. There we go. It'll be a long game. Plenty of time to work out the kinks. Oh yeah, um, if you need to move the cameras, just like click on one of them and then use the arrow keys, yeah. There you go. Thanks, buddy. Early, uh, early lead, but still plenty of time to turn around. Punishes that turn and pick up. Ooh, that missile like did double duty there. Went straight through the turn and hit it. It's barely not the best throw. I don't think he was. Oh, oh. That's yeah. that might have killed. Oh, going for an up air there. I don't know if he. You know, I don't think he wanted that. Oh, nice turn up. Still got a chance to make it back there. That's oh, damn. That's a great turn up. That's gonna suck. Pulling her out there. Oh, that's rough. Man, I can't believe that didn't hit. Would have been a nice perk. Pretty smart move from us. Oh, wait. Oh, he missed it. That's bad. That sucks. Take turn up now. You do it at low percent. Blocks it back to the stage, back to the ledge, which is not good for Peach. But... Expecting. That was like a. That was like a hit, hit him with something that's minus, and then sure you can style thing you did with the up either. Like put yourself in frame disadvantage, but I'm sure you can. Take like 
probably like three or four neutral wins, maybe like five. Bad nap, weak even. Oh, nice. Double duty again, going through the teacher's projectile straight into it. Oh, is that Stitch? Oh, he doesn't grab it then. He doesn't grab it again at least, but. God. Might actually not quite kill yet. At this point, maybe with with really good DI. Okay, at this point, if it's with a charge shot, she should die. Don't be worried about that. Be trying to land that, and he gets it. There we go. All right. At a bit of a disadvantage here, but it's possible. I need to play quite. Quite well here. It's gonna be a cool. risky crouch cancel, but pays off. That's gotta be cool. Big chunk of damage. Pretty disheartening when you when you hit them with something and they just get to hit you back for it. Again, he has to kind of commit to this being kind of risky and unsafe there. Oh, that sucks! Unbelievable. That's why I say you, you hit them and you get punished for it. That That's one of the worst feelings. Alright, yeah, you're gonna go to stadium. I wonder what he banned. This is the best of. I would have figured this is Samus' best stage. She gets to do this stuff with the platforms and the missiles, and that was really nice. Please type lads. I don't know, that would be very entertaining. What do I even type?
Best stage for him in the match. Ready? Kill here. It's gonna be in a pretty good spot. Alright, he's got an opportunity here to establish a lead. He has to get away from the invisibility. Nice. Now, every, every little hit will help put him further into the lead. Oh, he only gets the one. Samus is really gonna take some risks to hit Peach. Kinda rough. Man, stay quick on that dash attack. Man, Musket, he's experienced. He's doesn't fall for the jabs, and he waits for the down smash to come out. Edo just not even getting through that. He gets clipped. But He's just too solid in this, in this game right now. Even when he guesses the tech, he doesn't get a kill there. I think it might be better for Hanks to play like this Falcon or something in the future, but I'm sure he's thought about it. I think he's tried it a few times. But... Tries for a bit of a great death. Oh, that trade. I can't 
believe that connected like that. He's trying to make make his way down, but it's it's put out. All right, again he's got another chance to pull himself to the lead a bit. He's doing a bit better than last time. Let's get dodging it. Oh, nice patience. Oh, missile grab. Fog. Oh, and the movement. He's really, really pulling. Pulling himself back into it. He hasn't been hit in, like, a good... He's in a... Damn, Max hasn't been hit in, like, a good, like... That was almost like a minute. It felt like... Alright, nice tether. Oh, hope he had a shot of breaking him out, but he doesn't quite get to get what he wants out of that. Alright, he can still. Alright, Muskets obviously gonna wanna wreck as much as any as he can and make it as hard as possible. Oh damn. Try to go for the ledge? <laughs> Let him know. Let him know. Is. Linking some stuff together, tries to the edge cancel, doesn't get it. Turn up clipping him. Oh, runs into that one. Must get ready for the near approach. He's all over him. Finds his way back in, he tries with the up smash. That would have been so sick. Oh, damn. Spot dodges, he still gets grabbed. Sucks. Leave it up, B. Still like a 40% deficit. Oh, almost broke the shield. Tried for the read, but must get staying grounded. Alright. All over him. Racking up some damage. Oh, great for another down air. I'm not sure what he was expecting. He's gonna jump, but. Nice missile to cover himself. Let's get cornered. Oh, nice. Nice dash tag. Getting all this room to work with. Oh, nice. Keeping it keeping it solid to the end. Block and punish. And he takes it. 3-0. Damn. It looked like it was getting closer each time, but... Too solid. Oh, uh... There's been a request by two people in the stream to have a Nick Musket kissing cam. Just thought I'd let you know. Can we do a kiss cam with Nick and Musket? Davox says yes. Just waiting on you. Thought I'd, thought I'd let you know. I mean, I don't know. How do you want to respond? How do you respond to the request? This is a PG-13 stream. Let's, you know, not get... I've seen kissing in PG-13 That's true, you movies. know, it's, yeah, I mean, it's kissing, so. Well, you, I mean, how dirty are you going to go? Do. Damn, you're right, you know. It, <laughs> it's it's, it's, like it's PG-13, so kiss cam, no tongue, though. Yeah, he's, no. Saying, he's saying when Musket goes in for the kiss cam, he doesn't doesn't leave up to the imagination. Damn. Ooh, I've been, oh, he did it again. He got me two for two. It's <laughs> rough. <laughs> oh. All right. Now we have two of our... Two of our players here. About to play a game. Damn, he's upgraded. He's upgraded the tech in the meantime. So I hope you enjoyed commentating that. Um, that's one side, please. Can you hear me better? Yeah. All right. Um, hope you enjoyed that 18-minute set. Uh, you know, uh, I made it work by myself. I'm, I'm glad because <laughs> you judge for yourself. I wouldn't, I wouldn't have made. I wouldn't have made it work. When you go back and watch it, that. you can judge from yourself if I made it work or not. No, that is honestly the most, like, proven musket set. It's just, like, it's every game is just really close, but it's just, like, something just happens. To be fair, like, okay, look. The Stitch is, um... The Stitch is a little bit BS, but I'm pulling... I'm most likely pulling, like, <clears throat> um, 58 turnips in a game. Almost certain. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, oh, he wanted. Uh, again, I don't know. He wanted. He wanted chat. Uh, all right. Um. 
But anyway, that's not important. What's important is this set. What well, important is current. that you outplayed him. I didn't outplay him. I didn't get a single Stitch game free. It was, I, just I got, didn't say anything. I just said that you outplayed I him. I, I, why, I got, why, why are you, why are you yeah. trying to be so defensive? Look, all don't, don't give me that. You know, whoa, whoa, why are you projecting you, when you smirk like that? Do you think maybe that you did not play him? Is that why you're fighting back at the idea? In all honesty, you though, think I think like game two, I was like, it was one of those cases case where I was a little bit ahead, then I got stitched, then like I was a fair bit ahead. At that point, the other floating, the Sam's just like, well, fuck this game. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Getting in. Uh -oh. Damn, I was I was relying on you to you know. Get, I was in the wrong button for a second. But All right, anyway, um, so I mean, Kai's been improving a decent bit lately. Yeah. See, my it's, it's Nick trying some innovative strats. The run up, uh, down smash on shield. I've tried it many times. It usually doesn't work. Oh, that was actually like, so. That was actually really clean by Nick. Yeah. Um, sorry. Anyway, go on. Sorry. The um, the uh, run up. The run up. It's, shield. it's an innovative strategy. Innovative. I've tried it. It usually doesn't work, but Nick obviously was able to convert it to a kill, so sure. he's been working on it. So between these two, it used to be that like I had the best chance of beating Nick. This is way. This is in like 2017. Out of anyone else. Yeah, in a sense. So it wasn't me. Uh, now I think Nick's definitely gotten a better better matchup and. Thing is, Kai doesn't really get particularly a lot of math practice. Like oh, Nick's yeah. always no good maths around. Nick has like Nick's always complained about oh, man, I don't get much Falco practice. But like, apart from him, there's really no other maths in SA because you don't show up. What do you mean? I mean, well, actually, last last time we played Nick, it was like, I mean, Kai, it was like, it's I don't know. Up. I guess it was like, it was decently somewhat. I don't remember. It's, like, it's probably one of those like, oh, it was 0 and 2, but I was close. I was close. Yeah, just like probably. That's Marf, you know, you just get that for free. Your Marf, every, every game against space is close. It's a, no, it's not, that's <laughs> not true at all. <laughs> uh, well, no, it, no, no, if you're if you're losing, it's close. If you're winning, then it's, you know, it's a four for free stuff because Marf privilege. Mm. But, uh, have you never lost, like, handily with Marf? No, I'm fools. You know, <laughs> never done. No, I... No, actually, I remember, I remember when I was playing Marfa like that. One and a half, two long period. It's over. Damn, yeah, yeah, it's... Damn. Uh, well, well, it's nice outplay. What's important is that it is a best of five. We've got two more games for Kai to pick up some steam. Yeah, we'll adapt. Almost, yeah, we're probably going to Dreamline. I think. I think so. Good stage. Maybe well, Yoshi's. Uh, does Marth, does, does Nick do the thing, uh, where he, no impact land on the no impact lines? I think he's, he's, so he he's obviously able here? to do it, he's able, go on FD, bold, wait a minute, Kai, Kai didn't win game one, <laughs> yeah, you should really change it around, huh? there we go, don't want him asleep, what the hell, there we are. there we are. Kai, uh, Man, Kai, 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 saw, Kai saw you gave him the game and he was like, oh, I won, all right. You're, where, are we, where are we going? Where are we going, boys? Where are we going? Uh, no, actually, to be fair, also, in the past, though, um, Kai has actually done quite well. I think um, if you're not side. good at the the chain grabs and the punishes, this yeah, stage can actually yeah. be a blow-up against Marth. Nick used to be pretty bad at, like, relative to his, yeah. like, level skill at the chain grab and, um, Kai is quite good at shining out. Is this semis? Uh, yes, this is semis. Yeah, semis for all you people. That's it. I mean, it's hefty. The punish, even without a chain grab, like, the punish, once you get to the point where, say, once you get to that point where, like, up tilt connects into, um, you know, up air, up air, up air. Mm. Around 30-ish. It becomes Yeah, awesome around. Well. The punish game, it, you don't really need to have to chain grab anymore. You just have to be able to do... Yeah, short hop, quick short hop up is. But what if, as a math player, you're instead relying on your big brain and not the punishes like he is just demonstrating? Nice. Oh, he's, he's keeping it simple, baby. Yeah. Excellent. Yeah. <laughs> that did it? Did it? I didn't think it did. It sounded like it, it did. It sounded like, yeah, but. Well, maybe it didn't. Maybe I'm nuts. It's been, oh. been too long since I played. Okay. Wait. So like before, he does a down tilt to um, cover Kai going oh. but because Kai goes high, um, he's still able to cover his See that? That nair to reset. Yeah, single hit. Yeah, he did. Oh. 
A bold, a bold choice. Rough dude. Alright, now that FD's out of the way and Mas got his one counter pick win, where is he gonna go? That's true, this is this could you know He can't now Nick can't go back there. He's now, planning for the long game. He's like, I'm gonna get this out of the way and now I'm gonna three or Cause when Kai wins <laughs> Well now Nick can't go back to FD, right? He, if Kai wins now. It's all about momentum, you know, it's not you don't He's setting up for the steamroll. That's kind of smart, actually. Why more people do that? <laughs> yeah, it's, not, it's not smart at all. Oh. What's the downside? He's going to go to FD the anyway. Downside, the downside is like... What is the downside? If we assume Mark's gonna, always going to win FD, and he's always going to go to FD after he, after, after he loses the first game. But he's not always going to win FD. I mean, in the scenario, yeah, yes. Probably. Um, so... And, he, and because I, I believe the rules say this such, Nick cannot go there now. Nick cannot go, go to FD now, right? Because he's one of that stage? Yes. Right, so I don't, I'm failing to see the downside here. He's establishing a, a, a steamroll here. Look at him go! He's automatically, taking taking his locks? he's automatically taking it to a game 5 then, at which point, you know, nerves get... Yeah, but like, he's going to play the FD anyway. Plus, honestly, I think it's pretty... Um, if he's it's going, a mentality. I think it's a bit. It can not all everyone, but it can be a bit of a mentality killer if you're too low down. You think, oh god, I've got. Look at how much I've got to do to you know, make. Well, up. maybe for mere mortals such as we, but Kai is proving himself to be a bit of a different beast. Different beast. He's doing better on Dreamland. Yeah, you know, an FD. Some, some maybe. Some Eldrick miracle. <laughs> doing just that. Oh. He, I don't think we would have predicted Nick to roll there, but you think it's a net play Falco? And you're like, you know what? I'm just gonna go to Legend Side B. And you're not gonna be able to cover it. Oh. Crash cancel just barely out of a set there. Well, now this is this is the danger spot, you know. Those little misjudges, that's why you gotta have a real sharp mind. Oh, oh so momentum! Scary. It's scary, he's not dead. He's gonna close out the sedge gun. Should be simple. Yeah. And he does. Ooh, that was a really good time. Like, really well timed shine. Oh. Like, he intentionally delayed the shine to, like, hit Nick just as he was entering his own. He didn't just do a panic shine and, you know, got lucky. He, like, Actually, that first laser hit like the very tip of Mark's head. Like, oh, I was really working up a sweat there, but that one. No, was he getting, okay. Through. I was wondering how he's gonna get the ledge, but I think just fades away, gives him gives up like ledge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Actually, it's so hard to like punish that, uh, that specific um, oh. uh, that specific up beat just because like, didn't quite get the angle he did and when it went straight straight right maybe it went slightly down oh. like perfect angle he might have been able to grab the ledge and avoid that oh. maybe not it's pretty hard oh, oh good that's... jump oh that would have been sickest reversal that would have been a huge huge reversal <laughs> Okay. Ooh, he makes it in. Well, he tried to like play his forward air as long as possible, but he landed before he could get out soon. Yeah. Oh, that was great. Oh uh, well. Three the strategy not not paying off. Um. And it gets. The I'm gonna three quickly get my tablet to see oh, yeah. where the bracket is. Unless wait, do we have the bracket on here? I no, don't know. All right. Now I guess we've got Musket and Nick sitting in winners at this point, winners finals at this point. So we've got losers to work out. And then we can get to grands, or winners rather, and then winners finals and then grands, or something like that. Oh, I've got a phone call.
So while my co-commentator is on the phone, we've got two exciting sets before winners finals. We have Ruben and Milo, and then after that we will have uh, Catherine and Kai. So both sets where one person is obviously the clear favourite, but actually, can you enter? Yeah. Can you enter this um, stuff in? The what now? Or the Just like the names. Oh. Yep. Where one person is the clear favourite, but there's always that potential for the other person. There's always potential for an upset, which is what you want. You don't want, I mean, ideally you want them both to be um, even, evenly matched. Which character is Miley playing? Uh, if I had to guess, probably Samus and Falco. Okay, well, let's leave it at that for now. And this is Loser's Quarters? Yes. Ready? Go! That's nice, the Quarters. Alright, they're just going into it. No hand warmers. Yeah. Wait, did they hit your hand warmers? I don't know. Whatever, anyway. They don't need those, no hand warmers. <laughs> I mean, why would Falco need hand warmers against Samus? So I will say, um,. He's just gonna lose that quickly. Milo lost to Samus Guy in winners, so not the greatest omen for this. No. Set, but it isn't. It's who did uh, who did Captain beat to get to get to this point? Uh, young Money. Young Money. Oh wait, oh she beat young, young Money like beat round one. Yeah, round one of winners, then lost to me, then she beat Bailey, and then she beat Samus Guy. Okay. So Nice. She's innovative, the reflecting the projector with a shine. You don't see that. You, know, you really don't. There's a reason for that sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. You got here afterwards. So. Nice. Imagine if you could just cancel shine, like after reflecting. It's like there was just no extra lag. Could Imagine you... if God. you could just cancel shine. Imagine how good that move would be. <laughs> I'd say after reflecting, and then just pause. And just you know, so we don't take things out of context. I mean, hey, there is always a window you can't cancel. Like, God, it makes so many matchups so much simpler. It wouldn't be good. It wouldn't be healthy for the game, but man. Yeah. Good. But we could cancel at so, a jump spot with Shine. <laughs> so, <laughs> while we were talking about that, Ruben not only took a stock, but I think he took the second one without taking any percent. So, that's what a, Samus. What a legend. <laughs> I, <laughs> I thought he could. <laughs> But he jumped into the down smash, I was like, oh god, he's gonna die again. <laughs> that ain't peace. Or is it? Oh, is it? It's like... Man, I, I actually hate playing Samus this box so much more than Peach. Yeah. Which, I mean, that's gonna come down to um, experience. And, like, How many times have you played that matchup? I've actually played it a decent... Well, a decent bit. There's a fair amount of... Compton. Bold reads by both players. Let's fair amount of confident Samus when they play. Yeah. We've got two fine Samuses here. We do. One slightly more fine than the other. Well, we are a cursed state. We are real we really are a cursed state. We have like four peaches. Um two Samuses. A Sheik. Two puffs. Two Sheiks if you count Davox. We'll be here on Sunday. Young money coming here and like <laughs> we're not in Vic anymore. <laughs> what are all these floaties? All right. <laughs> what is this? Like, like one and a half mouse. Yeah. One and a half falcons. Yeah. And like two a foxes or something? Like one? Yeah, me and Brad. Yeah. Um, Bailey. Yeah, Fox Bailey. Legends. Yeah, Bailey. <laughs> nah, he's okay. Um, he's okay. But his fox is okay. More? Yeah. There are as many Samuses as there are foxes. Yeah. God That's bless. <laughs> um, we. We shouldn't have any ice climbers. We'll just update that. Yeah. Yes. yeah, that's all we need, the ice climbers. That's the, why are you no, favoring Milo? What I, the why hell? Am I, why am I? Bias! Favoring? Something's gone horribly wrong here. It really has. Has he been playing, uh, Milo been playing Triple Puff at all? No, he, he doesn't want to play Puff at all. He's purely spaces. He's back, back to he is uh, now. In, he is in 2000 and... Well, when, what, what year was it when Mango started like solely just playing? I don't know, I'm not really a historian. See, I actually watched a decent bit during that era. I can't um, remember that exactly. The point is, he is now at that stage. Yeah. He went for the down air there, thinking maybe Samus would pop up, being a bit high percent, but if he had gone for the shine, I think it might have been perhaps hey, maybe. a bit better off. That's, something, that's an insightful tidbit. 
Yeah. I think the players really appreciate that. They yeah. like, when they look back, they're like... I hope they do. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I hope that when Ruben rewatches the set, he can be like, you know what? Musk is right. Musk is right about the Samus. It's like, specific scenario of Samus. You know what? Liam's right. He is godlike. Yeah, he can. So, yeah, what you know, you know what? I noticed uh, Ruben doing it a couple of times against you? Which is kind of funny to me is he, he'll do something where he's like ends up being rather negative and then he'll up B, and it just reminds me of like Street Fighter, like Ryu, like putting yourself really negative <laughs> and then just <laughs> sure you can. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's not gonna press a button here, he's negative. So we're going to Yoshi's mainly so Samus can die earlier, and she's not done that much earlier, which is yeah. a, it's a problem. Um, oh, that's not gonna kill. No. <laughs> but he's got stage control oh. and it does kill. Ruben. Shows what you know. <laughs> like, well, when you mess that up on Battlefield, it's like, you know, <laughs> Yoshi has a giant wall. Yeah. But he wants the, the tippy tip. He wants it. That's, that's fair. So you want a sweet spot and sometimes. Oh, nice. Milo knew. You can tell Milo's been following the elephant. Yeah. Did you, did you, he knows when Randall comes out. Can you count out. how many times you heard the Falco in the damn. last, like, 20 seconds? A lot of little things, a lot of... <laughs> oh my uh -huh. god! That was cool. That was sick. The shine near of Samus. Yeah. That's dope. I don't think I've ever seen that that I can recall. So he was jabbing, like the Falco oh. was jabbing, oh. and um, the first one got CC'd, and somehow he didn't get down smash, which meant most likely room just a little bit later. He only had one piece of the puzzle, he needed to slot it in. Look, I will say, this being Yoshi's does mean that, like, Falcon can get some pretty early Shine Shine Gimps off the top. Yeah. He could kill him now with a, the with a right hit. Oh, the other smash! Nice. I mean, it's faster than the pivot forward smash would have been. That's the other option. So all he needs now is, you know, now he needs just, like, something to pop up, a Shine into another Shine, and then BAM! It's even. Yeah. It's really just that simple. I don't know why he isn't doing it. Yeah, I don't know why he's losing. Why? why? Oh. I suppose that would have been another reason to go for the shine to go the down there on the top left. Might have killed. Might have right. set up for a kill. Damn. There we are. That. Random just. A little Lord, bit. I think. Is that it? Too far away. Or the loser's quarters get another like, eight plus three. No, it's, it's, it's um, best fives. Best fives, yeah. Best fives. There we go. Go on, go on Falcon. Shout out to one. Oh, yeah. You have potentially a sign of disrespect. Not picking his main. Feels like he can just roll over him. Maybe he just really doesn't like this stage, Samus. Yeah. But this stage isn't that fun to fuck either. But he's making it work. Milo is gonna shake this one off. But. It's gonna be hard. Oh, great call up. Ah. Definitely a tilt up. Alright, I'm He's back. Just getting just... dash backed on. <laughs> I, I, I did not watch the I did not watch any of this, I was talking to Kai about um, Oh he didn't even oh. do nothing! He was so shook. This is um oh. I'm just getting beaten up. R Ruben showing how much of a cool guy yeah, he is. Swagging on him. Uh, great DA. Great DA chum. See, personally, I'm not a fan of the whole, you're already up to her, let's play a random yeah. like, secondary. I mean, it's not like it's a... Saying Ruben's, that... Ruben's Falcon is definitely a second best character. Ruben like, has disrespecting Milo. He is. He, he rarely is, and, you know. The disrespect. Uh, he's just warming... He's just warming up because he's like, yeah, guy's probably going to be Catherine, and Falcon is... Clearly, his best bet against Kai, so. Is it? No, not, not even for a second. <laughs> yeah, I don't think so. I don't know, it could work. Falcon's a pretty good character. So, some Falcons decide that, you Should know, wanna, some Falcons want to learn to tech chase, some Falcons just want to play that, like, slot machine. But it's like, yeah, 
I have no idea if you are going to take a place or take away. But if you do... Good luck, dude. Then I don't know about other Falcons, but when I do it, I always know. You always know? Yeah, I always know. It's, are they called uh, reeds? Maybe you've heard of them. Have you ever done one before? Ever no. made a read? All, all, my, all my decisions are based purely on... Yeah. I've never reacted to a thing in my life. Damn. It's all win reads. Perfect. Okay, well, well, that's not how you want to go out, but that's melee sometimes. That's how sometimes. it happens. Sometimes, sometimes you get three owed. Sometimes secondary falcon takes you out, and you know, Ruben yeah. giving a little bit of a smirk as he goes away. It's ninety, it's about eighty-five percent happiness, fifteen percent slight embarrassment. That you know, you know when you like maybe he like, just oh. really prefers falcon on that stage to Samus in that matchup. And he hey, feels maybe. it was the correct decision. I doubt it, but maybe. It anyway. maximized his win percentage. <laughs> yeah, that's that's got to be it. So back when Catherine played Falco... Um, back in those <laughs> days? Back in those days. Um, like, it was only like a year ago or so. Year, year and a half. Anyway, that was when Catherine was starting to like actually make um, best of threes. Oh, best of, not best of threes. Um, best of fives. So... <laughs> She'd always run into Kai in like losers quarters or loot like and just get like absolutely destroyed because she was not very fast and not very good at the Falcon Ditto. Mm. Um <laughs> I'm always like bitching about like, oh man, I can't can't just be a best of three. Why do I gotta play this? Why do I gotta lose like three times? Wow. That's but rough. now she plays Peach and she has a bit slightly bigger brain. Slightly bigger brain. She has a bit better grasp. Um have no idea if I mean, obviously Kai is playing a bit better than he was earlier in the day. Um, earlier on, Kai actually dropped the game to Will D. Will D. Will D. Yes, the legend. The legend himself. But oh, yeah. we'll see if she can incorporate some of what Will D did into her game. Do you not see her down smashing? She already, you know, she's so seen, but she needs to be on those platforms. I'm doing it. The Falco, yeah, you know, Falco, yeah, you can multi shine, but. Look at these wave lines. Have you never seen wave lines Ooh. as crisp as that? That yeah, looks pretty good. <laughs> Check it out. Actually, she, oh, pun! No, yeah. no punish. Actually, Quetz has really crisp, um, and really fast wave lines. Yeah. So really, as the Peach here, <laughs> this is what you want to be practicing. You want to be practicing your toes. You want to be practicing your wave lines off. And Float cancels. No, I don't want to see, um, if I'm the Peach, I'm probably practicing my double jump lands on platforms yeah. to moving out and practicing wave dash out of shields, but that's more so because I play two, two different characters with different jump spots, so I have to get used to the jump spot timing of Peach. Right. I'm also practicing my fast nares out of shield. Mm. You, can, uh, you can get to the platform and like start moving across it with the double jump cancel uh, dash, like, yeah, but, you then, can, you but can then just... how do you get back down? Fast. From the platform? Yeah. You just shield drop down. You shield drop like, down. You shield drop down fast forward. I mean, you don't have to. If you um, shield drop up here on like side plate on Battlefield, it'll actually auto cancel if you do it fast enough. Um, you can also. But I don't think you can fast forward. Oh, actually, no, maybe, maybe you can fast forward for it. Alright, that was a. You heard it here first. Maybe you can fast forward. Maybe you can. I actually can't remember if it's. If you. Because um, you have to do it really early for it to auto cancel. I can't remember if that's really early with a fast forward or really early just. Is there anything she, right there where she pushing up with the, with the dash? Like, is there anything she can do to stop from going to ledge? I actually didn't see that exact spot, so oh. I can't. I'll pay I'll more pull attention. Pull it out next time. Sure. Like, he was like low percent, just pulled him off, and he was like down like there, and he just like shined, then jumped back to the ledge. Like, and she was on stage, like kind of moving back and forth. I really have to see this. I can't really give you a like, precise answer because it's like, at least for me, like. It's a lot easier to see it like visually rather than have some like in that situation, uh, if you're playing like Marth, you could probably run off from the forward air um, or maybe like quickly grab the ledge to drop down. So in that spot, um, Falco was getting chain grabbed and uh, DI'd to top plat and then decided to tech in. You never want to do that. You just always I think I'm pretty sure if you tech away, Peach doesn't have a guaranteed follow up off up through. Like if Peach is on if Peach is up throwing on side plat and Falco DI's to top plat and then techs away. I don't think Peach um, can, can get there in time. You need some crisp movement to just get there and apply pressure more than that. Pretty much what you'd have to like settle for. Oh, that's... See, I'm, she may have been able to get like her weak hit um, bear into something, but just opposite in there because I think she's more comfortable right now with um, 
stick to what she knows. It's, it's better to just stick to what you know than try and be bad. Like, try yeah, and be but clever. the boot! Baby. The, the big boot? Yeah. Or Falco's big boot? That's it's always the classic. Never so, so Falco doesn't really dare there on um, side pipe, but... Which could have been shield grabbed in time, but Catherine not reacting fast enough. Slap! Let's Falco just kind of... All that up. She still needs to hit this edge guard, though. This should... Okay, well... You definitely... When Falco up is that high, you definitely have enough time to react. Yeah. Um, even as Peach. But sometimes your reactions aren't the greatest. Did you see what he tried to up. do with that? He was trying to, like, laser reset her in the air, then, like, do, like, a smash turn back or something like that. It was Ooh. pretty nuts. Okay. This is such a scary spot, spot for Peach. Um, thankfully for Catherine, Kai does this the shield's dwindling. pretty poor down smash. Just gives, like, eases up a lot of the pressure. Still. Oh, well, it wasn't a shield, but she still managed to hit the nair. Not dying yet. I'm gonna... I think the spot Falcon's just trying to get back here. Yeah. yeah. You, like, want to try and corral Peach um, to, like, ledge. Or, like, around that, like, ledge area and, like, put out back airs. And then she has to gamble. Pretty much. And like, even if Peach gets the ledge. See that? Even if Alessa Falco would have back in. Yeah. Oh, good shield drive. I would say one, thing's that, one of the things that Catherine has improved on over the past like month or so is uh, shield drops and acting like doing stuff quickly out of it. Oh, that's it. That's yeah. it. You don't need one hit at like 80. Mm, bad DI. It'll kill you. That was such a terrible spot to be. So when Falco was invincible, Catherine decided, I'm going to just put myself right... On, I'm going to be on side plan. I'm going to put myself right below you without, like... And pull a turn. I think she pulled a turn. And that's yeah. just, like... That's just pretty much saying, you know what? Come on, dare me. You won't. <laughs> what are you going to do, dare me? <laughs> Character who got dead, like... Oh. If only you could, like, throw... If you like smash this, if you could throw uh, turnips at like the angles Firefox can go. God, that would be crazy. That would be nice. It would. You could cover everything. <laughs> it's just like, with like the control stick or C stick, you could just like choose yeah. the angle. Yeah, yeah. That would actually be so sick. <laughs> it's never gonna happen. Yeah, because like right there, she could hit it. Mm. Rough. Might be a little bit too well, strong. In the ideal version of Melee, she would have gotten that stuck earlier. I agree, you know. Have you ever played back when uh, one of the 20XXs let you set a Peach pulled? It still uh, does. Well, I don't know. It's, it was easier to do, at least the version I have as well. You just go and debug. But yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I know what you mean. Yeah. yeah. When every... Um, every stitch. Every pull of stitch. That's some oh, fair melee. That was a really bad... Like, Catherine... I think she was trying to do something else, but she did, like, this weird double jump there out of shield, and... It just put her in such a terrible position. I mean, she was already in a, she was already in a poor position just being near the um, ledge. And they decided to burn a double jump and put herself in lag. It's not what you want, but nice to there. That just um, seemed to be a real weakness of Peach, is it's hard for her to threaten the ledge while well, also covering the stage. Sort of. It's Falco and Fox can both side B low enough to avoid it. Um, generally... To like, avoid a lot of like turnips. It's a bit slower for her to, to get onto the ledge than a lot of the other characters. Yeah. Well, generally she's not. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. I was I was convinced. Right. I think. Right. I think Amada would have pulled a turnip at some point and then gone down there, or just after, down there. after that first bear, Amada would have pulled a turnip. Um, probably would have hit another bear. And then gone and down. And then gone down. Yeah. Um, no, I assumed Catherine was just going to down smash, and Kai was going to tech and. But yeah. Catherine was trying to do the, the proper thing, sort of, and it's good to see. There's one more piece of the puzzle. So, it's a scary position when you're on high percent, um, pushing into the corner, because like anything that puts you is going to... This is a close game. It is, it's quite close. Competitive. It's good to see. <laughs> nice tech. A lot of people miss the first tech, just like the first time, like the first down throw tech, just because they're not used to. Um, I think it's just not, not at all worth it with Taco. With Fox, maybe oh, they're gonna react. Oh, that would have been. Oh, cheeky. that was such a strong punish. Uh, yeah, see, in that spot, 
Yeah, it's hard. It's like uh, roll, roll, and stand and get up are both pretty much death sentences. And, oh, yeah. dash she had to. She definitely had to like dash tag after that fair when like Falcon went straight up. Oh man. Yeah, that's thing. Now like she's really struggling to close out the stock, and he's got all the control, all the reset it. I think Catherine got a shield up in time, but yeah. I think she tried to. Yeah, it was like she rolled. Yep. Nice, rough. But I think we're probably going back. Might, might be going FT, but I think yeah. Going back. Ooh, that such a How strong. How many has this been, mate? Just perpetually kept the disadvantage. But that said, there was like definitely a lot Cameron could have done. She could have um tacked a lot of those down there. Just in general, the eyed and SDI a bit better. Okay, weird um tech chase down smash. Ooh. Ah, uh, she not float. Maybe she thought because that seems such a weird like drift be, uh, to do. Maybe she thought she had float and didn't. But I thought she did. But, oh. Maybe she had a like side beat to get height. Okay, I definitely. Thought, I think. Oh, nice. Oh. Outplayed. Outplay, yeah. Big potential for outplay. This actually though. does have a like very big potential. Oh, oh nice <laughs> outplay! Oh. oh that wasn't you know that high outplayed by just SDing off. Oh, excellent. Or like that pretending out. to SD. Getting Cap from the throwaway to turn it. Um. Okay, nice tech chase. He's getting to do all kinds of stuff. Oh. I think in general, Kappa needs to be a lot more hesitant um, towards just going near the ledge when Kai makes it. Like, you have to really respect Kai's flash dashes there. Like, and the thing is, you don't, like, that doesn't mean you just let them ledge dash on for free every single time, but it means you position your, you space yourself and position yourself a bit closer to center because it's a lot easier for um, Falco just to Falco or Fox who's saying like say ledge dash up tilt ledge dash shine when they don't have to move at all. Yeah. Right. But if you're outside that range, then suddenly there's a mix up and then suddenly they have to potentially go for like ledge dash dash into say shine and that make adds an extra layer of like input on them. This is brutal. Yeah, this punish like. Okay. Yeah, that's it. I'm gonna try and yeah. Yeah. putting the nail in the coffin there. I believe right. that's me and no, Nick now. loses semis. No, we're doing winners no. finals first. Okay, winners finals, then loses semis, and then loses finals, then grand finals, and then we'll be done. All right, winners finals, Nick versus Musket. See how that goes. Oh, yep. Hey. Are you playing Fox? Uh, hold up. I just need to change something. So this is still active. Okay, there we go. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right, what's up, everybody? Kaiser's on the mics. Yep. What's good, everybody? What's up, broski? Uh, what am I looking for? This is what I'm... So, yeah, this is Winner's Finale. Winner's Finale. What's up? What's up, chat? What's up, Sora, if you're still here? Do you put an apostrophe in your finale? No, it's just Winner's Finals. Okay. I'm not letting you do this. No? I'm not letting you do this. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> I'm a man of integrity. But you just said it was winner's finale, and now you're going to go back on that. Is that what someone with integrity would do? I mean, I guess you're right. I guess I have no integrity after all. Uh, He's just gonna, a tyrant. I am. There you go. Just needed to reset the old buffer. On well, the, uh, um, on the I thought I had mentioned this, but earlier there was a request by at least two people for there to be a kiss cam between these two gentlemen who are currently playing. You mean like this? I guess. Now, 
Yeah. Now we just need a kiss. Now camera. kiss. 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 <laughs> Shaking his head. Nick's Donzo. He's like, no, I'm not doing this. Look well, at these gamers. No Look at them. Look at these non-kissing gamers. <laughs> I know. Can you believe the nerve of the two? These people come here and pay good money, and they don't even do the deed. It's truly a crime, honestly. And these guys are sitting really far of each side of the player cams. Um, so yeah, Nick's been playing pretty alright lately. But I'm not sure if that's us just not having uh, played Nick in a while, or if Nick's just been on point lately. But I think Nick is still always... Always will be, always has been. It's got that Nick factor. Freaking legend. Yeah, you definitely panic way more when, when you fight Nick. Like, you get knocked down, you're just like, oh, maybe if I like spot dodge every time, I'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. But no, Nick just stand chances. Hey. See, why doesn't that work for me? No, it's because Nick does up tilts to stop that. Uh, and two stocks already in 30 seconds. Like, this, this is a common theme against when you play Nick at the local. It's like, you think, oh, yeah, yeah, like, this is going to be the time, you know? <laughs> like, I don't know about that. Like, this is going to be the time. Like, I'm going to I'm gonna fuck the boy up. But um, He's also just really good ooh. at the game. Uh, nice tech. Nice that's technique. a freebie. That's a freebie. Definitely good gifted. At that gifted that stuff. He's, like, signed it. You know he's, you know how you, like, gift weapons? I was signing. Love TF2. Anyway. <laughs> if I oh. must have a stock. Okay, the shorty. Yeah, see. Oh, wait. Nick. Nick just goes back to neutral really, like, quickly, right? And um, it makes you think, like, it makes you think all the time, like, oh, yeah, time to play the game now. But, like, I don't know. You have to play neutral. You have to play a lot of neutral against Nick, I feel. Mm. He's a slippery. slippery you got to learn guy. how to crouch cancel as well. And you have to not, like, be scared of continuing to crouch cancel versus Moth. Otherwise, he just gets away with a lot of stuff. You gotta be able to grab Marth's shield as well. Hey, I love that. Love Great the melee there. Yo. Whoa. All right. So Musket actually did get a stock of his own, and not just a freebie. Oh, Musket got the tech skill. Swaggin. He's on Nick, but he hasn't really done a whole lot of damage. Thirty percent to his name, and now Nick's got a. How did that tipper? How did that tipper? That was he nuts. knows the dimensions. Sure. That was nuts. <laughs> tipper was real there. The big, the big ripper, double tipper. Oh, it's all right though. Yeah, taking game one of the witness finale. Mm. Excellent. Okay. Uh, did you see my tweet by the way? Which one? I about saw about the cheese one. league as attendance. Uh, att attendees. I think I saw one that said it was happening. I don't know. Oh no no. Okay. So my idea is that I'm gonna have some speakers set up in the venue. Maybe I'll use the venue speakers, but uh, I want to pump like just directly the stream audio to the venue so you can like watch the projector and watch a commentary uh, from where you can listen to the stream from wherever in the venue um, it'll be far enough away from the players that they shouldn't be able to hear it but um that sounds pretty great yeah yeah i think it just add a bit to the in-person like coming down and paying your fee experience adding right? a bit of pressure whoever's on the mic yeah, everybody can hear them i mean it doesn't there. it doesn't really matter it's just a logo right but like oh, i think yeah. it'll be sick still um and also musket's kind of holding his own this game he got a, a Yet again, another gift this stock with the RP before, but now, yeah. Yeah, soon. yeah nah, Nick's spacing as well. Like, that's his world, you know? Nick's spacing's just. You're in his world if he's playing that game. Ah! Uh, uh, Flubsies, he didn't face the other direction, and another gifted stock. <laughs> yeah. I don't know how many times I could say that, but, you know. Give him away, it's a basket bundle deal. Yeah, some sloppy wave dash there after the shine from Musky. Oh, Musky! Uh, Nick, I'm cleaning up. Clean it up. We got. All right. All right. Off a hit. One hit. Sometimes. Rough. Sometimes it happens. That's a rough feeling. Oh yeah, you're right, Davox. We should just make it so that the, only the players can hear the audio. Yeah. <laughs> right. And we, we, won't, we won't even put it to the stream. We'll just have it so that, that the players just hear the commentary. Uh, sure. And you just you, get, you just have to watch them and like figure out based on the reactions what we're saying. Oh, oh, that's that's a stock. Ah, oh, you have to. Okay, you you got to refresh there. That's good. Refresh. Got that up too. All right. Uh, okay, catches out early with the F smash. Doesn't even tip a. Uh, oh yeah. Strange. Oh yeah. Musket's finding the shines. Yeah, he's finding the shines. 
Which is kind of what you need. Yeah, no. Finish nice, it. nice. Cool. That's one of the risky things about, like, uh, bringing Marth to Dreamland for Fox. The up air, not killing Zerli. Yeah, he nice would have had yeah, Stadium uh, available, but decided not to go there. Well, this is looking really clean from Nick, and that reverse is yeah, gonna Beautiful. Yeah, clean it. But he brings him back to the last stock, so he's not looking too death. Not bad, not bad. Two oh up. Oh yeah. Oh, Falco coming out. I think we're going to. All right, we're going to Dreamland. Just flexing on him. Just flexing on him. Do you mind clicking in the math section for me? All oh, right. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. Cool. So yeah, Nick on the Flaker now. Flaker up in the game three of the finale. <laughs> what? Do you think Nick's gonna take it with the Falco here, or has Musket played too much Kaiser? I can see it go either way. Oh, don't do this to me. Honestly, uh, I'm gonna say I think Nick's gonna lose, and he's gonna be salty about it. Oh, that up smash though. He ran through him, and Nick was like, "Okay, I'll sh wake up Shine or work." But Musket just perfectly spaced with the pivot up smash and just like powered through him. It's pretty sick in the end. Uh, not sure how intentional, but it was just dope. But now Nick's got the control. Ah, oh, never mind. Gives it away. He's got it back. Yeah, they... See, like, when you roll against Nick, it's just what he wants. Like, you think it's a good idea up until, like, you're in a combo for all your stock, you know? Damn, whose idea was this? Yeah, right? You're on the sticks and it's like, I didn't do that. That was <laughs> Nick. That was someone else on the sticks, man. No, that ain't that me. Ain't me. <laughs> that ain't me. Oh, I love the Nair. Good DI mix-up. Yeah, he doesn't have... He doesn't combo like Kaiser. That's for sure. I think... Musk is gonna be DIing. Is. Musk is gonna be DIing for that like late up, like first hit up there and yes DI out of that. But I don't think Nick's gonna do it. I think he's just gonna combo using other out made it avenues. Yeah, pretty wild that he made it. Uh, just gets the tech in, but nice no wave. death. Nice way. Didn't even DI it good. That was wispy Shameful. opening him out. Oh, that was some sus DI. Oh, okay. That was a sus edge guard. Doesn't quite oh, know what to do. Okay, 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 it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. It's, it's just a little airborne. The fox is still good. It's still good. Hey, can I prove me wrong? Yeah. After that stock, this is a this is a Nick game now. Yeah. Look at it. It's, it's, it's done. He's done. Get me off this. Get me off this train. He's a wrap. Oh. Now he almost made it back. He almost had the Nick factor. He pressed all four buttons and was like, Ching! push block. Oh my God, cancel. Sorry. Yeah. Yo, imagine what if. What if Melee had x <laughs> And like, all your combo, and you just go into turbo mode? Like, every attack just like, How much combos damage would x Factor 3 Marth forward smash you? Tip it. Alright, maybe that's a bad idea. I don't want to live in that world anymore. Jigglypuff? <laughs> Imagine like, x Factor F smash on Jigglypuff. She's dead. <laughs> She's dead at 20. Oh! Love you know, the may no, Maybe you're right. Maybe Marth does need more power. I mean... Imagine, can you imagine uh, <laughs> Fox Up <laughs> Smash? Oh, jeez. Oh, what a like combo. Oh, what a combo catches the slide off. Yeah. Oy. Oy, 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 oy. That was a good reg guy. That was a keeping it simple. I nice. love that shit. All right. That's at uh, TAC Infinite Smash. All right, well, I'm up in loser semis now. There we go. All right. Can he make it through? So I got what? Who do I have? You got to fight. Um, Mangarang? Yeah, no. Yes. Nang beat Milo, so yeah. Yeah, so you gotta fight. I'm playing Nang's. Nang okay, I'm gonna get him over. The winner of that plays Musket, then the winner of that takes it to grand finals. Alrighty. Wait a minute. Do 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 You know what uh whoa you know what I played uh, recently for the first time? Oh, what did you play? Uh, Banjo and Kazooie. It's you a know, good game. It's a really uh, good game. It, it, I was highly enjoying the earlier parts of it. You didn't like the later parts? It started to drag on and get a bit bullshit near the end. <laughs> I, uh, I still haven't quite fully finished it. A 64 or 360? I've just been emulating it on a 64 emulator. Okay. Um, 
Yeah, but the game's pretty good. I like the whole... I mean, on the 360, you don't end up having to... Um, you don't lose all your notes. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, that's that's a, that's a big thing. I'm like, why the hell do they make the game like this? But, um, one of the big you things have to collect the notes every time. I think there's no lag. I mean, if you're playing on the emulator, there's no lag anyway, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. Um, I didn't really notice any lag. <laughs> I can tell. No noticeable, but like... Uh, so you see here, Ruben yeah. warming up. Not I was for like, Kai, but for my game of watch. He knows what's coming out. So, a little bit disrespectful to Kai, Sunday. but... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I went, I went, um, all star random last time. Yeah. I so hear, uh. A brand new hand oh, oh, extender! Oh, yeah. Put him on his back. Finish him. Yeah, should we never finish that tournament? We got to, like. Can you grab Grand of the Prince? I guess you can't. They're, like, on knockdown? I don't think it's sand grab all, no. Yeah, maybe that's just because they don't reach. Like, is it possible? No, I doubt it. Oh, I doubt it. I don't think you can grab during knockdown. Yeah, probably not. No contest. All right. Anyway. Yeah. Anyway, getting back to Banjo and Kazooie. Yeah, not to the map. <laughs> have you um put the? Yep, you already have. Cool. Yeah. No. I quite like to change it to Lucy's um semis. Yeah, that's the one thing. I quite liked that, like, at the end with the game board, I was like, wow, this is a really yeah, nice yeah, way yeah. to end the game, but then it just tricked me and it actually wasn't the end of the game. Oh, no, you had one more boss fight. Yeah, I haven't done that Let part, me, yeah. no, Let me guess. You got to, like, the note door or, like, the... You were like, ah. Oh, I got all the notes, and then did. it's like, oh, now you need all the... So I, I had been you getting need all, all... You don't need all the jiggies. Well, you need most of them. You only need... The, well, I mean, yeah, you need those. So, yeah. like, I... I like up until like the first like the first like eight levels, I did like a hundred notes and like all ten jiggies. Mm -hmm. But then like at that point, I was like, I just kind of want to get this game over with. Have you played Banjo Tui? No, I'm, I, I'm not planning on playing that, that game. I hear it's the same game but bigger. That I don't is a wanna... game that does feel like a drag. Sport. I do not want to do that. The problem with Banjo Tui is that like there's a lot of stuff that you can't collect um, on first visit. So there's a lot of like inter more interconnected worlds. Um, and that just that anyway, sucks. that's not that's not important. What's important is this. These two people this playing. This warm up right now. The, are they warming the up? Oh. Will... Are they warming up? Oh, oh yeah, they're not yeah, going. Yeah. All, right. All right, cool. More time to talk about Banjo Tui. Anyway, so yeah, there's a lot of stuff like where say oh you can get eight of the ten G's or like say six of the ten G's, but um, two of them are going to require you to do something in a different goal, and two of them are going to require power up that, power up that you. Don't get too late. Oh, that's and I don't like that. Like, cause it, I don't like the idea of like not knowing, being like in a world not knowing that like, oh, have I done everything I can right now? No, I don't think that is. I'm pretty sure from all I remember from Banjo Kazooie, there's nothing like Banjo Kazooie. I think had one thing you needed. I think you needed um, I think either Freeze Easy Peak or Gubby's Valley had one jiggy that you needed something from the other world. In. I don't. I'm almost so. there. I oh, know. I think uh, maybe with like the with the flight. You might get them from somewhere else. Did well, no, no, you get the flight from from the desert. You get sure. you get beat. I thought you got beat bomb. Oh. You get beat bomb from freezing. What's your favorite level? My favorite level. It might actually just be like the first one, but that's kind of lame. Uh, level? Oh, in banjo. Banjo. I've only played banjo kazooie, and I would say. I would say. I want to say the ant hill because it was really nice, but. I, oh, Mumbo's mountain. Yeah, it's the first level. See, I'm a big fan of cool clockwork. The last level. Oh uh, yeah, I, the whole I haven't really seasons. like. That is pretty cool, but like by that point I got to it. I was kind of. I just wanted to finish it. Yeah. So like I was like, and then I was oh I got actually got to do this. Did Rusty Bucket Bay make you? I did not like Rusty Bucket Bay. Yeah. I did not like either of Clanker's Cabin or Rusty Bucket Bay to be honest. Yeah, all right. I, li I like Clanker's Cabin, but it was kind of cute. Bucket Bay, it was kind of cute, but I got stuck at several points, and I was like, well, what am I doing? Damn, being stuck in a video game—that's crazy. Anyway, that sucks, dude. crazy concept. Oh. Um, Anyway, um, these guys, these guys have played a lot of stuff. This is like one of the, this is a classic. This is probably the classic 2018-19 essay set. Um, they they play each other a ton. Last Rough. time Ruben got a got the trio, I believe, but Kai's definitely got a different game plan this time around. Talking to him. You know what's a better question? Is what's your favorite banjo transformation? I, I've got an easy answer for that. Oh, yeah. The crocodile, he's so cute. The crocodile? Yeah. He's got a little backpack and he's crawling around. That's so cute. Freeze Easy Peak is... Yeah, is Freeze really. Easy Peak is pretty sick. It's... I'm trying to remember the music. No, the music it's the one with the polar bear and he races you when he's a jackass. I don't know stage. I'm trying he to doesn't even help. He doesn't, like, look after his kids at all. I mean, it has the whole, you know, whoa-hey. Woohoo! Yeah. 
Bro, remember Ultimate being on Sunday? Ultimate is in the same room as Melee. We both run him in the same. When, uh, when's Andrew coming to Smash? When is, I don't know. I don't, has it announced like the exact um, release date? I don't think so. Anyway, Kai's up. Pretty much a whole stock, but it is Samus. Yeah. Samus can. <laughs> There's been a lot of. Um, it's been quite a oh, lot. Rubitusum! I was about to say he just needs a Rubitusum to bring it back, and he's got it. How does Kai normally do versus Nangs? Um, they have long stretch. I think they they generally have like stretches where one is beating the other. Yeah. Like who won last time? Right now, I think it's. I'd say Ruben is definitely um, favored, not yeah. by a crazy amount, but. Ruben's well, he's down right now. This could be the upset of a century. Yeah, you're right, Dan. Um, I know who I'd rather play in the losers finals. <laughs> yeah. But against one of these people, you have a slightly better win win record. Yeah, like the. This is, how, do, how do you feel? I know this is about this particular match, but how do you feel about Ruben playing Fal uh, Falcon against you? He's tried in the past. I don't think it works out very well. Um, if I'm playing Ruben in a set and he's going Falcon, I generally just like, yeah, he's getting off. Alright, but maybe maybe that's what it will take. Maybe maybe it works out. Who knows? Maybe if he just with a few reads, a few, a few reads. Knees, and you, you just lose a stock. But yeah, as I was saying before, there's actually been a surprising amount of sets where, like, it's last stock. Um, Ruben's at, like, about 100, 120. Kai's at, like, yeah. 20. And then he just gets down smashed into the legend and loses. He's about to dip his hand in the cookie jar, cookie jar and the cookie just crumbles away in his yeah. hands. And then the jar just breaks and, like, shatters across your, like, wrist and you get ah. cut. And, yep. And you've got no band-aids. you got no banjo-themed band-aids. It's like, who the hell booby-trapped this cookie jar? <laughs> what kind of monster? <laughs> And you look over and you see uh, you there skulking away with a smirk in your face. Damn. Anyway, um, what so kind of monster you are. He's really needs sedge guard, and he drops it. This is. I don't know. Curse him, bro. Maybe, maybe he doesn't need the sedge guard. Maybe he's gonna get a down smash. That laser anyway. was actually kind of impactful because it stopped him from charging the uh, the charge shot long enough that he kept him in the corner. It's kind of nuts because normally that laser doesn't actually do anything, but. Not really, but that time it's actually impactful. Oh, that that grab somehow works. Cool Kai like standing still for a split second. This is this is so scary as Falco. Even though you're so far ahead, you just like Man. don't get down smashed. I really loved that uh the smash turn <gasps> back there. Okay, he got out. Oh that Oh that was such a good Oh sh that's he done? It. That's I think he's done now. What the, the chokes? Oh. Turns out it's not just me that does that. <laughs> oh. No yeah, that's it. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Damn. Yeah. Ruben, Ruben shaking it off. Ruben just like, yeah. What was the third level? It was Clankus Cavern. Yeah, I don't know like that yeah, one. Then it's um, Bubble Gloop Swamp, then Freeze Easy Peak, I believe. And then there's Gobi's Valley. Oh, it's one of the two. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can yeah. do it. And then Mad and then Monster Mansion, then Rusty Bucket Bay, then Click Lock. Yeah. Anyway, Are we'll we missing one? Four, five, six, seven. I feel like we are missing one, right? I feel like I would. I, th I feel like I would oh, treasure say trove, treasure trove. Is that the second one? That's the second one, yeah. Yeah, I feel like I would say the clock would if I wasn't like as bitter when I got to that That's point. <laughs> like, and also, like, I got. Game. I reached a point where like, I couldn't. I can't. Like, I think it's like in winter. I can't figure out how to get to the bird because like, there's Eel? like the, you have to jump across the things. Yeah, and yeah. And there's those annoying. My one of my least favorite parts about Banjo Kazooie are those enemies that come out of the walls. I hate. Oh, them. I really <laughs> wish they just weren't in the game at all. Damn. Like they don't add anything to the game. They're just there to <laughs> slow you down and piss you off. Damn. It's like, I want to just go past this, but I have to yeah. wait for these assholes. To You've kept that in for a long time. It's good to see, you know. You I, I, don't, I have no out. one to talk about. No, no one to talk to. You're like, yeah, Twitter, right? Go from Twitter. <laughs> yeah. I hate these birds. I hate <laughs> these these birds, and they're like, I don't know, like lizard things. And these motherfucking fucking birds in this motherfucking tree. Yeah. I hate them. I hate them. <laughs> yeah, those uh, things, and there's like one other thing. was like my two least favorite things about Banjo, but I can't remember what it is. Probably those things are like number one. I wish they weren't in the game. Oh, I just get it. Well, while we were talking about that, Ruben eked down himself out a nice lead. I think he took the stock at 40%, but Kai is just slowly making a bit of... Gaining a bit of, um... Bit of work. Bit of work. 
but get us some jiggies. <laughs> yeah, get it. Solving the solving the puzzle. Yeah, Samus is a puzzle. <laughs> Samus is actually a puzzle that I still have not solved. He's gonna he's gonna go he's gonna go to the treasure room and input the uh, or the sandcastle and input uh, I don't know like red bird red into bird, the yeah. into the ground and then to get extra firefox distance or firebird. The yeah, Australia did that with NTSC. We were like, no, wait, they they went into the go, 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 into, <laughs> go into the sand cove and treasure cove. Yep. Oh man. Oh. Damn. Right. Well, still quite even. Still quite even. Moving back. I deciding that this is the stage to go. It's like really murky against Samus where to go, especially because um. You'd think FD would be a really strong pick, but I think mean, historically Kai has, well, Ruben has done quite a bit better than Kai on FD. Why is FD a strong pick, do you think? Because I think, um, so when Samus, the lack of platforms means that if Samus self is at any point, then it's so much more of a commitment. Mm. And there's no mix up between whether she lands on the um, platform or whether she, just whether the, she lands on the edge platforms. guard is just good for Thunder in that stage. It is and it isn't, it isn't, right? I don't think, I think, honestly, I think the Edgeguard is probably better for um, Samus in that stage, right? Because how often does Samus, is, how often does Samus really go high while with the intention to go to, oh, that was sick! Correct! Yeah, with the intention to, like, go to a platform. Whereas Falco and Fox has, like, mix-ups on up B, whether they go high and they can, you know, quickly land to a platform and... Oh, oh that. tased him! Yeah, okay. Send him a message on the way out. Hold that. Good, good missile fights. Oh, well. Spot, spot dodge, get hit. Yep, that's the beauty, Shine. You can put out, you can essentially like, extend the duration of your hitboxes. There's obviously a gap between the damage, Shine, but like, it's enough to cover. Just like, like that. Ruben was up 3 to 1. Yeah, holy shit, yeah, guys, we're on his back, but. Oh, oh! Well, you know. Save. Yeah, Kai's trying to figure out to get back to stage, like, get back to um, center stage, and uh, looked really uncomfortable just trying to navigate those platforms. Try and get it right. Got a bit nervous there, I think. Oh, by Deluxe. Alright, is that? That's 2 -er. Oh, we're going. Favorite uh, banjo power-up. They play about third game one. Am I just really? Am I just not paying attention? I they played one like two. Huh? Sure. No, I'm saying game one though. Did they go to Dreamland or? I don't remember. I don't think so. I think it was kind of Yeah. Anyway. Uh, yeah. Favorite banjo power-up. Mine's uh, the talent trot. I think everybody's the talent trot, right? Like I feel like it's <laughs> the best one. I feel like can you mentioned the game without it. Oh, just he's so slow. Movement wouldn't be able to go anywhere. Yeah, those hills. Like, you talk about favorite power up, but you just have to like exclude that. Except for that, because like right, everyone's except for that. Except for the talent throw. Ah, uh, that's a tough one. Maybe the flight. It's fun to fly around. Oh, it's actually maybe it isn't fun to fly. I don't think it's not very. I, I would, it's okay. not very fun. It's necessary, but I wouldn't <laughs> say it's fun. Otherwise, uh, this. No, not that one. That's when you realize that the power ups in Banjo actually aren't that. Yeah. <laughs> that impactful. It's mostly just like it's the talent the ability, to, that's the it. ability to use items. Yeah, the ability to use items and like the uh, shooting eggs, which I almost never do. Unless when you have to. Banjo Chewie definitely has a lot more like cooler extensions of you know power. Up. Um, like the drill bill or whatever. It is, when you like, is that like a regular move? No, it's like an extension of that. Oh. You get to you like, like just, do you like bury, like dig through stuff. She like spins around and like acts like a drill, and then just like the hitbox last stages. Do you, do you, do you use it to like go through rocks and stuff? Yeah, pretty much. Anyway, you know, back to the match. Back to yeah. If you gotta take out Talon Trust, <laughs> it's, it's gotta be. I mean, I guess it would have to be the flight because it does flight? allow you to do some cool stuff. It sure does. Although it is also infuriating in some parts where it like, oh, it's at least one or two times it's just pissing me off. I, yeah, I like the flight way more than the flight bomb. I hate that. Yeah, the big bomb sucks. That's so annoying. Anyway. Yeah, the flight lets you do something interesting at least. Why do you think they went, why do you think Kai went to Dreamland, Lim? Because he wants a long game, so he's got enough time to use his brain to outsmart his opponent. 
Well, ain't that just the truth? Isn't that just the truth of, against uh, Samus? The he's big thinking with, with uh, Falco's bird-like feet, the Talon Trap will give him enough maneuverability to get around him. I don't know, I figured he went here because he wanted to like camp platforms, but he's not really camping platforms. So... Yeah, he's just trying to use his brain. Another case where being down by quite a bit, generally... Punched him. Makes oh, person that sucks! Yeah. How sad. Feels bad. If he had the... Actually, you could... Well... Do transformation scans power-ups? No. Then it would be the, the crocodile. The crocodile. It's adorable. It's the cutest one. I'm glad you're a fan. Yeah. All right. Well. Oh dear. Oh dear. Okay. Navigates that safely. Um, sort of. I think there was definitely options that Samus could done, but it's. I don't. I'm not sure if Samus was able to cover every single angle. No. Um, Okay. Oh, yeah. baby. All right. I'm up. All right. Now we got losers finale. This versus Muscat. Are we going to hear Peach? Pretty well. So I saw. Uh. Why are you wearing it? Well, only with the headphones, it feels weird. Right. Uh. You can hear me properly, though. Uh, I might want to bring it a little bit closer. Let's bring it a, bit, a little bit closer. That's good. Yeah, it's much better. All right, predictions. Mm. They played earlier, and uh, one of them won. Yep. They've played in the past, and overwhelmingly, one of them has won. Yeah. As far as I know. So we'll probably expect to see uh, Musket win again. Go on to Dreamland again, just like the earlier set. I'll just remember. Okay. He's been playing really well in these up last set. True. He was getting a little bit closer every time, but still... I mean, it wasn't even game two, and then it's just a Yeah. Rough. I know, for, some, for a matchup like this, I think whoever wins game one is more likely to win the set. Well, it's like 80%. Oh, because, like, it sucks if you have to win on, like, a counter pick in this matchup. Yeah. I mean, uh, Stadium's pretty good for Samus, but he still he still did lose the loss of 3-0. Yeah. So, I mean, that's when it really, really sucks. I don't know. Whoever's playing more patient will win this one. Yeah. So, what's your favorite Banjo Kazooie stage? Uh, Banjo Kazooie stage? Yeah, your favorite Banjo Kazooie stage. Um, it's been a while since I've even played that game, but I really like the seasonal one when we transform the, into a The click clock uh, yeah. wood? Yeah. yeah. But that was only because you can fly. You can fly in a lot of stages. Yeah, but like the B transformation. Is it your favorite transformation? It, 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 I just had fun flying. You know what my favorite transformation is? What? It's the crocodile. He's, he's adorable. He's a little crocodile with a backpack. Yeah. It's amazing. It's 
are the best. Uh, I mean, the, that would probably would be my favorite stage, but I, by the time I got to it, I kind of just wanted to, to finish the game. Uh, so, yeah. And then there's, oh man, there's like, my least favorite thing about, I only, I only played this game for like the first time recently, right, after he was announced for Smash. And, um, yeah, if there's one thing I would remove from the game, it would be those, the, all the enemies that, that have come out of the wall, like, just take them out of the game. They don't need to be in the game. They just slow you down and annoy you and shove you off stuff. And it's like, these don't need to be in the game. I just have, but I, there's just parts where I'm like, I'm running to get to somewhere. I know I have to go there and I have to wait and stop for these things. Like every so often, I'm just forced to wait and do nothing and then run past them. What about if like, they were there, but once you kill them once, they disappear? Kill them? Well, not, well, not kill, but you know, like, attack them. Can you actually attack them? Well, no, maybe I'm thinking of a different thing. But... I didn't think you could, but maybe you can. Maybe that's how you meant to get rid of them. Maybe I'm just an idiot. I mean, I might be an idiot. It's been like years since I've played Banjo Kazooie. Yeah. Well, I don't. I don't think I ever tried doing it. Cause I was just sure they were unbeatable. Yeah. They just seem like the kind of enemy you can't deal with. But maybe you can shoot them. Ooh. Slick. Yeah. Still, ah. Uh... He's been pretty. Oh, oh, taking him down with him. Shit, that's uh, he's like behind free stocks. As a peach, I, I can say this is like a free stock lead right now. Looking, uh, that's a whole nother stock he just took. Yeah. So much work ahead for him. He's gonna win this. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You know, oh yeah, the other thing I would change about Banjo Kazooie, yeah. although apparently it has been changed in the 360 version, which I didn't know was a thing, was that uh, when you die, or when you leave a level, to not reset your note progress. Yeah. That's just like painful. Yeah, um... I played the 360 version and that was changed for the better. Right. Well, I was playing on 64. Right. So that was rough. Alright. So he just needs to, uh, you know, need to trade win some neutral. hits. Mm, not really trade at this point because the thing I want hits he gets trade with the die. I mean, yeah, I was, I was saying Ruben needs to just. Oh. He's close to. Oh, he's bringing it back. Yeah, he's really bringing it back. That would uh, that would actually be yeah. the nail, I think. Let's run it. Actually, very close. It's gonna be real painful if you're Ruben. You were up so much, and now you could just lose. It happens. I mean, look at you see his face. Oh, he got oh. out of space there and died. Oh my oh. god, I'd be so pissed. Okay, neutral. <laughs> well, at least there's like a whole stadium for him. Rough. I assume he's going to stadium at least. Oh, no? Yeah. Oh, we tried it last set. He's figures it's not gonna work this time. Ow. Oh. Well, it's a, I'd say it's a decent stage for Samus. Well, he just needs to throw Peach off the stage and get her. And then he'll win. Yeah. Just skipping Peach is hard. I mean... Extender. Yeah. That'll help. As Peach, I, you never die really from Gimps in this matchup. Oh, should have downloaded. Yeah, it's too early on that anyway. Oh, that hurt. I think. Actually, he got behind her there, that's pretty sick. He's doing a good job at keeping his lead. Yeah, like getting like behind her, getting behind her shield there makes it a lot... I would say, well, maybe not that much, but uh, it's a nice advantage compared to being on the front. Hey. Well, I think down smash comes from the front first. I, th I think it's, it's both sides at the same time. Is it? I'm pretty sure it's... 
I'm pretty sure it's both sides. Like, it's like both sides, both sides, both sides, both sides. And there's like little gaps in between. From, that's from my memory of looking at the hitbox, but I could be wrong. On Samus's down smash? No, on uh, on Peach. Oh no, I was thinking of Samus. Oh, Samus, it is the first. It's the first one first. Yeah. In front first. Mm -hmm. Whereas Ice Climbers, I think, is like in the back first. Yeah. Alright. Uh, just needs a sharpen. Nice. Uh, He's still down quite a bit though. Oh, he tried to get super wave back. Not even just stop, but like the percent. You can't really crouch cancel. Damn, you really don't get much from grabs. And they're quite risky to do. I mean, it's a DI mix up. The Peach can DI in or DI out. But I think the Samus does have follow up. Juicy. That was a pretty good ratio for that. It was like, what, like 30 40% for a stop? Yeah. You can take. It can break. I can't believe that snapped. Man, that kind of sucks. Even though he got the he got the hit there, he's, that didn't convert to him getting back on stage. Yeah. Normally it would. But... Just didn't for him this time. Ruben has to kill him pretty soon. Hopefully, so doesn't take too much percent. Oh. A little bit more. Oh, weak hit. That would have killed, I think. Yeah. There we are. Oh, he gets the charge. Oh, he doesn't get the charge. Too greedy. Although, I understand the impatience. Oh. Apple win lots of neutral here. Or just crouch down, hold down six. Try for the perch. Uh, uh, SDI yeah. helping must get out there. Rats. Going to fuck, eh? He wants a better kind of projectile. The lasers. Yeah. Wants a better character. Yeah. Let's see how it. Ooh. Oh! The reeds! Outplayed. Ooh. Oh. I think maybe if you went like. near vertical and drifted to the ledge, you could have maybe recovered. It's hard though. Yeah. He has to know that. Yeah. That muscle's gonna do that. Oh, he tried to. I liked what he tried for there to bait him, but like, the dash attack reached too far. Mm. He just clipped him. Yeah. Playing a lot more careful, I'd say. Right That's now. the stock. Yeah. See, a good thing for him and Anthony as well is that, like, it doesn't really matter if you're behind. It's like, I mean, it does, but. This matchup, you can just get it your way sooner. Yeah. Oh. I, just, like, I almost like what he's doing to me. Just a oh. little bit more. Down. Out of the way. Still gonna live, because. Oh, he would have. If he just went to the ledge, but. Oh, he, he was Rand worried. He wanted Randall, I think. He did, but if he just wanted, if he just went to the ledge, I guess he was afraid of getting death stacked or something. Yeah. If he just went to the ledge, he would have lived. Yeah, would be better off. He kind of overthought it. Nice grab. Yeah. Uh, it's great SDA. Ooh, good reverse. Oh. More grabs. Yeah, it goes to the. Goes the ledge there, and with that tech, Peach can't get like guaranteed the lock. Yeah. Oh, you can definitely take stage. And... You can, uh, if you do the the double jump like ledge cancel. Yeah. To get onto the platform, platform yeah. cancel. Yeah. You can at least like get very close to him and like, you know, if he if he does side shield as he did, you can grab him. But yeah. It's not guaranteed. Yeah, it still makes up so. I don't know. Please, for me, I personally like to just. Yeah, yeah. Choice of the down smash, taking him off stage. Okay. Really close? Yeah. Literally within the sense. Oh, those down smashes. Oh, 
Oh, Peach is winning the scramble. Frame two jab, I think. It was a frame three. I think it's frame two. Too good, no? Yeah, but so is Fox's, but yeah. Oh, oh good no. wave dash back. Down. It's starting to look more and more. I mean he can still come back, like He can definitely can, but at the high percents, any little hit can spell death. Oh yeah. Especially on the stage. There's fewer and fewer chances. Oh, oh good way! Oh no. Oh. oh. Now they both have to be careful. Ooh, he does it! A Samus esque that now. Yeah. Good stuff. Alright. Alright, going back to Samus. Oh. Doesn't feel like he can do it on uh, FD. Yeah, that's a fair call, honestly. Yeah. Anthony's having. He's really controlling that. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that would have been so cool. That somehow worked. I think it was intentional. Nah. He was trying. He was gonna do forward smash for sure. Oh, rinse and repeat. Rack it up. Oh. Yeah. Sucks. 65%? That's like, that's not quite enough to work with. Yeah, he needs more. Oh, he could have done more of that. Maybe. He could have set something up for sure. Maybe he could like pull the turnip and then like get some float cancel or something. The I, turnip for. I was just gonna say down smash because down tilt doesn't really do anything. So I mean, it kind of sets you up a bit more than down smash. So. I mean, he crouch canceled it and he didn't go anywhere. Rough. You didn't get that perfect. Oh. oh. Good for turnip. This is looking real grim. I mean, it really is, because... Smack in the face. There's so much neutrals. You wouldn't have to win. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta outbrain them quite a bit. Nice. Like that. that was an outbrain. Yeah. Some more blows, and he can come back to the yeah. same stock. Oh, no. Where are you going, bro? Maybe try to extend it there. That would have been... That would have been so sick to be extended by him. I, I probably meant to turn the other way. I think he was a shield though. Oh, whatever. Uh, damn. Shot us? Yep. Yeah. Oh! oh! Are you kidding me? The two piece. What a fucking a legend. Don't tell Kai about that, he'll be mad. Just pretend it says losers finals. Don't worry about it. Ah, oh, wow. I would have thought that that should be like a free punish. You mean like punishing uh, up smash? The up the up and then he just gets back. It's hard. The crowd's cheering. Push back in. A little bit scared of the shot shot, but he, he could potentially, but really hard. Oh yeah, he's giving up. Oh, yeah. That's it. Now it's time for the grand finale. It's just so hard when you're like down two stocks. Take it back. Yeah. Alright, whilst we're moving on to fight Nick again, yeah. there's a repeat of the winners. He's playing Fox in this game one. Seems like it. You know, he has a whole zoo of characters. <laughs> a veritable uh, menagerie. He went Falco, I think, last set. Alright, they're just gonna go straight into it. Hand warmers, probably hand warmers. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, B. 
like the one set you should be having hand warmers, I believe. Yeah. Why is that? The most, the highest stakes? Yeah. You should have the least amount of hand warmers. Uh, I, I think every set should have hand warmers, but th this one is one of those. Um, I believe both, both players, when they're up this high, should have hand warmers. They should be above it, is what you're saying. That's like... This is potentially the last set, so... It'd be a good time to have hand warmers. Potentially. But the L needs to suffer an L. There we are. Now everything's set up. That was a great sighting. Yeah, it finishes off the hebbles. Oh, you yeah, the smash fill. The smash fill of melee? Yeah. That's what it is. Really good stage. Yeah, it's probably if uh, if, they, if we could only play with one stage for the rest of the time, it'd probably be this one. Yeah, it's got something for everyone. Yeah, it's the most fairy balanced stage probably. Yeah. Ooh, let's like whiff at each other. Oh, well, you know, it's the only percent. You can just tack on percent and then. Well, they weren't. They weren't hitting each other. Well, there we go. There we go. Yeah, there's a request for you in the chat. No, I don't want to yell in the middle of the set. Yeah, you don't want to do it. What about what about after the game? Are you willing to do it then? You know what? Sure, sure. I'll That's what. Yeah. I mean, you don't. I don't want to. Don't want to pressure you into it. Fine. Hey, wouldn't that be considered outside coaching? Anyway. I mean. If it's considered coaching to tell someone they should be using their main set and sticking around with a secondary, then... Maybe he was thinking this is the strategic correct choice. Maximize his chances. He's kind of like... If he plays the first set as Fox and loses it, like barely, he's like wearing Musket outright and he's activating him to a different matchup than the, than the one that's for real. I mean, yeah, but it goes both ways. Then he's worrying out his um, mind and just his fingers to Fox, and then he has to get used to Mark. Well, uh, not to the same degree, because he he knows in the back of his head that he has another set to play with, and this one is not as important, whereas Musket is like, well, I have to win this, otherwise I'm out. I know, but I think using a character to just use another character in the next set, I think it's not that good of a strategy. Well, he's winning right now, so... Well, that, that's because... The strategy Nick, must be flawless. No, no criticism. Well, Nick's a good player, so... He can do this. Yeah. He can. Uh, he's trying to prove a point. Fighting for his life right now. Rough. Okay. Oh, I like the back here. Yeah. The scrattles. I know it's um. Oh, great shine. More basic thing. Let's go. Oh. Short and nutty. A good shot. Yeah. It's been, been good for them. I thought it was so rough, honestly. That was pretty clean. Where's the bar? <laughs> huh? Sora wants you to play Marth, is what, is what we're relaying to you. Survival. He does not. He declines. Musket's gonna have to make him go Mark. Yeah. Can he do it? I believe. Oh, I don't know. Okay, well. He's kind of moving right now. If it was any other one of his secondaries, I'd more believe, but uh, the Fox Dodo is not one of his other matchups. Yeah. He 
think if this was Snake Falcon, he wouldn't SD like that? Um. You wouldn't be getting yeah. washed right now. I uh, know. I I like to say if it was Nick's Falcon, it'd be up more than this. That's like a double Fox privilege right there. That's like the shine clank of the move saving him on the one frame, but then also the up smash was hitting from the other on the other direction. Oh, nice. This is uh, not Hi, um, a good game for my kid. He's good. Yeah, he's washed. He's done. Oh my Jesus. God, dude. This could be a quick grand finale. I mean, oh. Oh, going to Moth. He's uh, he's afraid he's not going to have another game to show it off. Yeah. He's going to Moth. Yeah. You happy now, Sora? Wait, why is there no Moth White? What the hell? Is there no Moth White? Whoops. Jesus. Why did I do that? Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it's because uh, my keyboard's broken, so every time I have to hit hit, hit the uh, the uh, I button, I have to like I've got control paste. I've got to copy pasted rather. So I have to like do control V every time I want to do that. So it falls a habit. I don't know if this will work. What? Yeah, it will. Okay. Yeah. Okay. This wasn't recorded. There we go. Okay, so he's doing better already. I mean, it can change. Yeah. But. It's not over yet. Well, it's like they're both used to this matchup. Why not? Maybe, maybe Moth's just not as good a character. I mean, especially at our level, this matchup is uh, Moth favorite. Yeah. You're saying at higher levels, Fox. Uh, Becomes better at the mouth. Um, not necessarily. There's always human error, even at the top levels. But there's less of, there's less flubs, less mistakes. Right. But you're thinking the more skilled the players are, the more it favors Fox. Well, it's just because um, the fo Fox is really good. It gets better when you can move better. <laughs> I yeah. mean, that's a different character, but Moth can, Moth can really punish if you make a mistake, so... He yeah. could also, uh... He's also pretty good at, like, hitting you. Oh, you yeah. I'm up. The player doesn't have to be bad for Moth to be good, but... The worst the other player is, the better the character shines. God. It's gonna feel pretty freaking scary playing in Snake right now. Oh my god. This is, this, this is potentially his last stock, and Maybe. he just got forward smashed yeah. at zero. That's a bad feeling. Oh, no, this is a real bad that's, feeling. That's, this, is, this could be... This is a tough spot. It wouldn't roll, be but it worked. Nick was like half ready. I mean, sometimes the roll is the best yeah. option. Oh, well, no. He was waiting for it, but then he kind of gave up. Oh, oh here's oh. a chance. Here we go. This is how comebacks are made. Mm -hmm. oh. Super oh, oh, no. ready for it, baby. Oh. Oh god. He's off stage. Oh, nearly. Mm, but too nice of a short, baby. That's the end of the grand finale. 3 0. Damn. He should have been. Nick putting him away. Yeah. If he did that. If he did it like a bit more longer and lower, I think it would have worked, that Sean. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it would have worked. Because even if he. Uh, Man, look at this terrible facial hair. Let's get it out of there. I, I assume everyone looks bad on the cam. No, I I need to I need to get rid of this. I just haven't been haven't been shaving. Mm. Well, that's that. Are we gonna get a uh, mm? winners interview on what is favorite banjo because we stages? Uh, what's the time? Oh me! Mm? I was gonna play a game. Mm? Oh. I guess so. I guess it is happening. Uh, I've I've only prepared one question. Yeah, I mean, every, I already told her what the question was, though, so she could ask you the question. Damn. Well, there's only two. There's only two headsets. Is the issue? You know what? Just flip a coin. I don't. I don't care. You. you who? Do, you know? Let me talk. All right. <laughs> Here you go. Uh. Uh. 
right. Um. Uh, hello? Sorry? Hey. Uh. <laughs> well, what's happening? Oh, no. My, my didn't play Marth all the last hour and a bit, and it was bad. Yeah, I saw, but you did this. <laughs> you did spiking there, so... Yeah. Um, my Fox, though, I, I was playing Campbell for the last hour with Fox it is, so that was cool. I can really see, like, I mean, I know Anthony's not the best in it, but you were doing some stuff, so... Yeah. yeah. Did you see my back air edge guard with Shane? Yeah. That was very good. I wasn't expecting it. Have you even asked him the question? Like, Jesus Christ, man, yeah, what, it's an I interview. You know who is a really experienced interviewer? Fine, you know what? You know, fine. Lemons, but I, I'm happy with yeah. it. I'm happy with being interviewed by you, Kath. Obviously, you. it's fine. But I'm just, saying, you what? know, when I'm you've got, <laughs> when you got <laughs> someone like yeah. Lemons. Oh, right, okay. I'm well, just saying, you've got a lot to live up to. Right, well, you know, you know, <laughs> ultimate. And uh, do I just uh, Lemons? Stop interrupting, please. Lemons. Okay. Um, he just can't help himself, can he? Yeah. He just always. He never. He never <laughs> switches off commentary mode. Yeah, but um, you know, ultimate and hi. Uh, how banjo is Wait, Cooper? you can't hear. Oh, I can't hear. Hmm? But you like to see me talk. That's nice. Um, okay. Sorry about not being able to make it to your 21st, Sora. <laughs> you at 21, me sad, cannot fly there to celebrate with can't, you. Can't you just type it to him? Like No. No? No, it's not an option, really. Oh. Well, since the sound is off, I don't... Are you going to ask me this question? Yeah. Um. So, you know, the banjo, he's confirmed? Like. Yep, I am aware. Yep. Um, what was your favorite banjo and kazooie stage? Click Clock Woods. Or Freeze Easy Peaks. Oh, me too. I love uh, Click Clock Woods. Yeah, like, so it was good. It's nice design. I like the seasons, but the one that actually makes it my favorite is Transforming into a Bee. I like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I really, I just like the music as well. It's just a great, great stage. Yeah. Good choice. All I right. Know. Well, I'm glad you. <laughs> I'm glad we we got <laughs> to the bottom of that. Uh, that. That was the question that he was so hyped. That if you answer. That's what Lemons wanted to ask me, or you wanted to ask me. What's What's Lemons' favorite? Hmm? If I said I forgot, would you? <laughs> nah, yeah, it's. I mean, he agreed that like Click Lock Wood was a decent stage. <laughs> Thanks, Huey. <laughs> <laughs> ah, oh, but um, you know, it's nice. It's nice to do this. Like. Yeah. Yeah. Unfortunately, we're only talking to each other. It's just a regular conversation. There's no reason for us to have headphones right now. Oh. Because they literally can't hear us. Oh. They can see. Kath? Yeah? Great job at this tournament. Thank you. Um, great job for you winning. I mean, Thank I you. know what happens, but... Yeah, it does happen. And we're, yeah. we're signing off. We yeah. got... S.A. Nick and Catherine... Leaving. Oh, what the fuck, Sora? <laughs> wait, wait, really? Oh, uh, that's. Oh, I'm tilted. <laughs> well, I still want to leave and eat food. Yeah, fair enough. I guess I'll just Goodbye. Just say, say, everyone subscribe to Kaiser and send him condolences about how he played in the tournament because he wasn't happy about it. But you can't always win them all, in my experience. And you wouldn't want to, really. It'd be a. Uh, you wouldn't learn anything. It's SA Nick signing off. Keep on rocking in the free world.
All right, shout-outs to anyone still sticking around. Your boy Kaiser's here for a little bit. Um, we're just going to pack up. Basically, if you haven't already, please follow the stream and follow SA Smash Central on Twitter and Facebook and follow me on Twitter at KP Kaiser, please. If you want to support the channel, please subscribe. Subscribe to the YouTube channel as well. SA Smash TV on YouTube. That's where all our Vody Vods go. Um... Yeah, goddamn, I feel so fucking bad after losing a Ruben fan. Oh, uh, I just, I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm fucking trash you. Oh, oh well, oh well, <laughs> fuck, just feel salty. Um, all right, we're done, we're done, stream. I'm gonna see if I can host someone. Oh. Firefox is installing your updates. That's very good. Stay strong. Yeah. I'm trying. Uh, far out. Alright, who's um streaming? Who's who's on the grind? I will host. Hmm, today I will host. Um Oh shit, you know what? Um Go watch my boy Kieran, he's streaming some fighting games. Um but yeah, <laughs> go say hi to him. He loves to be really annoying in fighting games, so definitely watch his stream. I'm out, everybody. <laughs>